Don Rickles, everybody. You're fine. You're fine. I thank you, audience. I thank you so much. And I must get this off my chest. Yes, go on. Go to a dentist. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> when did you get so aggressive? What the I, hell's I, wrong I, with you? you do, when we first you. met, it was, hello, Mr. Rickles, how are you? No, it's what the hell's wrong Like an equal, you're talking to me, for God's sake. <laughs> he became an American citizen. He thinks he can hang out with me, for God's sake. No, no, no. I don't quite say that. And they said, your picture. I want to be a magnet. All right. Okay, Scotsman, go in the back and clean up the room. Hey, no, no, no. No, no, no. You know what? Gee, you know, on television, it looks like you got a massive audience. You got six Jews and three Italians. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and one Irish guy sitting there going. <laughs> oh, there's a black brother. Oh, yeah. bless you. <laughs> Is it a holiday? God bless you, baby. The dog, dog, dog. I'm talking to the I'm black right man, here, huh? Mr. Ryan. Right this guy's important. They get moody. There's no baseball. I had nice dog, man. <laughs> it's a different world now. Okay. All right, listen. I'll tell you what I'm looking at right here. Why did you? Well, okay. this is important. I want you to pay You're attention. You're not a judge. You're a person. I, 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 look, I'm trying to tell you. You, I'm looking at this. This is the dates that you're playing coming up, right? February 27th, the King Center in Melbourne, Florida, right? March 2nd and 3rd, uh, the Seminole, is that how you say it? Seminole Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. March 20th and 23rd, the Orleans Casino in Las Vegas. And should you really be working? You've probably got a lot of money by now. Why are you working so much? Because <laughs> I'm Jewish and my wife needs jewelry. <laughs> You must have money by now. You can't be going How out. How do you know what I have money? A Scotsman asking about money. I, I, I think about no, money. Uh, no, I love the work as you do, Greg. Right, right, right. Craig, Greg, Greg. I always call you Greg. You yeah, know. I know. It's... Does it matter on the sign? Nobody cares. It is. Right. It's part of your they job. Just show up because it's a long line. There's a line. Let's get that line. Anyway, <laughs> they think it's Bob Barker. I'll tell you this. It's his suit. <laughs> it's his suit. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. One for the Scotsman. All right, thank nice, you. Nice. <laughs> Anyway, no, I, I enjoy the stage, and, uh, you know, as you know, the traveling is always a little bit annoying, but I take jets. What do you, what do you take, bus? Yeah, I take the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I enjoy the stage. You take jets? Have you, 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 you take jets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all get that. When they get rich, they all go... When I first met him, it was, hello, Don, how are you? Now it's... You know, you, 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 really, you really have come after me this time. I don't really understand you why. Know you know why? Like because you became an American citizen. Well, well and I voted against it. Well, I voted against it. I, I voted against it. You came up against it, and I said to immigration, don't let this guy get over the fence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were Mexican. <laughs> I've got nothing against the Mexican people. I love them. I eat the tacos and go, ooh, ooh. Anyway, I'll tell you this. Is this too fast for you? No, I'm oh, keeping okay. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You're a great host. <laughs> no, you're beautiful. And that's good. You know what, Greg? We yes. go back a long time. Peter LaSalle was the first guy that introduced us. He was, that's right. And yeah. Peter LaSalle uh, was Johnny Carson's producer, rest his soul. I miss Johnny. Mm -hmm. And no offense to you, but he was great. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Anyway, uh, no, no, I, that's, that's fair. No, no. You're, no, no, it's you're, fair. You're, it's fair. No, no, that, that's, that's a little below the belt, but who cares? No, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
Well, look at your notes. No, Say no, something. No, no, no. I'm waiting for you to stop so I can find out why you actually are out working all the time. And you said that you take jets. Do you have a private jet? That's what I was going to ask. Yes. I put wings on my ass and fly. Right. <laughs> something. Can I really genuinely ask you a question? Certainly. Will you, will you just allow me that once? Okay. All don't right. beg. Don't beg. No, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> when you come to the show, which is always a great pleasure for me, Thank as you. you know. Thank you. I always... <laughs> I'm always amazed at the, the size of the posse that you bring. You bring a lot of people with you. A lot of people. A posse. It's, a, it's an American word. Look it up. Posse. <laughs> I'm catching it! I'm catching it! Coming for you. Yeah, <laughs> No, it's, uh, you probably... No, I have a friend, Tony O, who's uh, my road manager, Paul Sheffern is my publicist, and my manager, Elliot Weissman, who's in Florida, yeah. planting trees. Yeah, yeah, I... But, you but know, John Stamos is always with you. John you? Stamos is a great Greek that follows me around going, oopa, oopa, and I give him a cookie and he goes away. <laughs> <laughs> John and I met many years ago, and he comes to Vegas, not like you, but before, before you, and came to about 12 shows in a row, what have you, and uh, he lost his dad, rest his soul, and he always had a thing about me that I I'm, uh, represent his father's image, and, uh, right. and I was very sweet of him, and I, and I love John, and he's great, and he's 44 years old, and he looks around for 12-year-old goes, got a minute? Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's uncruel, it's not, he's, it's, 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 he's, he's not looking for girls. Anyway, see, when you get older, this happens. The other one just his legs dead. This. All right, that's enough. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Don Rickles, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. So I got I got this book. Uh, it's written by uh, the comedy legend who's just won two Emmy awards. It's a very new book. It's a very very clever title, Rickles Letters, and it's uh, <laughs> and it's a bunch of letters written by uh, the comedy legend that is Don Rickles. And look, there's one to me. Yeah, it's it's really really flattering as well. <laughs> We'll talk about that. Please welcome the legend that is America's treasure, Don Rickles, everybody. You'll just get him started. Okay, Let's... that's about it for me. Yeah. No. Very nice to see wait, you, Don. Wait a minute. Let me thank them, huh? Well, okay, then. Come on. Stop. Pull yourself together. This is an important night for me. <laughs> really? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was very kind. I, you know, as you get older and get in this business a long time, it's great when people receive you as you do, and I, and I thank you so much. And for that, no. Okay. Okay. Now, getting back to you, the yeah. monologue was weak. The monologue was... Oh, no. I uh, thought you might notice. Not really. No, no, no. I make fun yeah. of Greg. Look, we, know each, we, were at, we were at a dinner party together with Regis Philbin, remember? Yeah, yeah. I always like going out with Regis because you know where your money's going to go. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. What is it? What are you about? I'm wrestling just, I'm referee? Just, I'm trying to keep the audience awake. Come on. Well, you only got seven people here. What yeah, are you making a fuss for? <laughs> We can't afford any more. Anything great? Yeah. yeah. Ah, I listen, can't, I can't. listen to your book of letters. Right. Yeah. I, I, can I read out a little bit of the letter you sent to me? What is this, mind? Germany? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Dear Craig, I'm writing to give you an alert. Work on your accent. I know you became a U.S. citizen, but after watching many of your shows, immigration has taken another long, hard look at your credentials. <laughs> They're seriously considering pressing charging and sending you back to your native Scotland where you'll get, be more comfortable doing your former job herding sheep. <laughs> it 
it's amazing how a guy in a kilt got to be a big star. It's kind of odd, though, that the whole audience lays on the floor looking up. <laughs> From what I've heard, there's not much to see. Yours truly, Don Rickles. Now, come on! <laughs> you, get, you get to a lot of people in here, my friend. Yeah, well, I, you know, it's a fun thing to write. I, I, I imagined a, a book I'd write to all kinds of friends, living or dead, you know, and, and thank God you're alive. And I uh. said, as a mercy thing, I'd put you in the book. <laughs> and, uh, but no, you, you're a friend, and I, and I wanted to say a few words about D you. Did you, uh, did you put uh, Trump in the book? How long have you had, ha 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 had that? But anyway, uh, did what? I'm working with a guy with a problem. <laughs> Makes $7 million a week, and he stands here going, ha ha $7 million a week? How can you sit there? Say that. You know CBS. Why are you hollering? You're going back to Scotland in the morning. Oh, come on. How can you Man say it to me? Why is he dressed up like a yo-yo over there? Why uh, you can't say yo-yo anymore. Oh. You have to say yo-yo American. Yeah, you yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Anyway. A, you, got, you got letters in here to God. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting book, but why talk about that? It's it's a hit, and I don't need it. Oh, really? Anyway, uh, all right. Listen, congratulations about the Emmys, by the way. It was so fantastic. Before to see I say you. that, by the way, oh, David yeah, yeah. David uh, David uh, Ritz, a uh, fine writer, helped yeah. me put this together. And I think uh, for Christmas and so forth, it's an interesting thing. My uh, wife needs jewelry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she'll be doing okay. It was. Uh... It was very nice to see you getting these well-deserved uh, Emmys at the uh, at that fantastic show we. Well, you know, we went Craig, and, and and you, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, being in this business 55 years and my age, uh, I was so delighted, really, to receive an Emmy. You know, yeah. it's the, your peers, and it's a thing called. Uh, And as you know, Craig, it's called Mr. Warmth, the, the Don Rickles Project, and my son Larry and uh, uh, John Landis, a wonderful director, and uh, Bob Eggleman and uh, Mike Richardson, they all helped put it together. And uh, Tony O and uh, Paul Shefford, my, we had a great team, and they just, w we went to different actors. We went, the, the guy I, I adore, uh, amongst many, uh, Clint Eastwood is one of my yeah, guys. Clint I, Eastwood, yes. But uh, going to Bob De Niro and asking him to do the part, we said, Bob, Don would like you to say a few words. He went, well, <laughs> Well, what do you want me to say? Well, yeah. well. well and John said, well, say, say he's a good actor. He's a good actor. <laughs> these are the kind of things. And Clint, another, both of these men make fortunes. And they're wonderful gentlemen. They really are, besides being great actors. But you talk to Clint, you say, you know, Clint, how about dinner tomorrow? <laughs> I did a picture called, why do you lean over? Can't you hear me? I'm sorry, I can't understand your accent. Oh, what did you say? He leans over like we're, like we're in court. Hello. <laughs> No, Greg, I, I was in... Step back, you're scaring I'm me. I'm just... Anyway, right. uh, Clint, Clint Eastwood, you know, uh, and all these... <laughs> all right, all right. You son Clint, of a gun. I know, I know. You're gay. I know. Uh, <laughs> European, but it's much the same no, thing. No. I, uh... You were going to tell me about this, uh, Clint Eastwood thing. Just cut meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jump ball. Yeah, tell, no, me about uh, your, uh, tell me about your, your dinner with Clint Eastwood. Oh, with well, Clint Eastwood. Uh, and, and, and Clint's a, another one of kind of guy. But everything is low-key, you know. Yeah. And they, they don't like to be seen. And the last time I was with Clint once, we had dinner. And we did a picture called Kelly's Heroes in Yugoslavia. I love that picture. That's and, a great picture. Uh, 40, 40 years ago. Really? Trust me. Everybody was going, dobra, dobra, dobra. And, uh, you know, Clint was uh, running around going, dobra, dobra. And when you eat, it made Mexico a warm-up. The runs were like a, like, a, like a mystery, I swear to God. Every time I had dinner, I went, oh, oh. And, and the guy went, dobra, dobra. They put oil, olive oil, Craig, olive oil, buckets of olive oil. And you well, just... that, that, that goes right through you, the olive oil. Where, where are you? What are you, a cop? Yes. That's right, I'm a gay European cop. <laughs> what? At what point? Actually, it's not a bad idea. No, so Yugoslavia was a great experience. Sully Savalas, rest his soul, he, he was something else. I miss him and Carol O'Connor. And in fact, you know, and, and all these gentlemen, they're in a, we like to think a better world anyway. But the way things are today, I don't know how people say a better world. Yeah. But uh, my, my son goes up in my dressing room and on the wall has all these actors and he goes, dead, dead, oh. dead, cancer, dying, dead, <laughs> dead. And then he looks at me and says, you feel okay? Oh. <laughs> 
you take a lot of that from your kids? They, they give you a lot of talk back. Uh, yeah, I got to be nice because if I get in a home someday and I'm spitting up, they're going to be standing over the bed going, Dad, we're not paying for the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're great. I have a daughter, Mindy, a, a wonderful daughter and a wonderful son, and they've been good to me. You know, today, uh, our, our children, you know, it's a cycle. They're going to take care of us eventually. All right. And my, my son and daughter have been very good, and I've been very good to them. And I delve out a few bucks once in a while, and they go, thanks, Dad. And then they go, go, he's so cheap. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, are you going to be, are you that, gonna be that, with that, them wait, for Christmas? Wait, I'm not finished. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's a joke about being cheap. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my daughter say, Dad, she talks like my wife. My wife is this. She say, sweetheart, how'd you like the show? Just great. Let's go to dinner. <laughs> are you finished? Yeah. All right. Uh, are you going to? Uh, are you going to spend Christmas? Do you celebrate Christmas? Sure. Well, oh. Jews, we can participate. We sell you the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I celebrate, I celebrate uh, Christmas Eve, uh, every Christmas Eve, God willing, with our dear friends, the darling Ginny Newhart and her husband Bob, Bob Newhart, oh, right, a yeah. great comedian and yeah. a great friend. And we spend every Christmas together, and my favorite time is when we sit by the tree and he reads the book of Jesus. I'm not familiar and, 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 with that and, and, one. And, 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 and then, you know, see, Bob is, we, we've traveled the world together with the New Hearts. Right. And God bless him. So before 9-11, we went all over the world, really. And I, we, like in Germany, when we were in Germany, you know, uh, we, we'd walk down the street and Bob would say, uh, don't, 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 don't kid around. Don't, 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 don't say anything. Don't, don't. And I'd go like, Sturm in Einstein. <laughs> No, you shouldn't do that in Germany. And he'd go, don't, don't, don't do that. You're going to get in trouble. But he's a great, a great gentleman and his wife, Jen, and we spend Christmas Eve and they sing the you, carols. You sing carols? You do all that? No, no, I stand in the back and figure out how many gifts I had to give. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you sing the carols or not because you're Jewish. I don't know if you, if you, have, uh, you, know, if you have to stand back from We Christmas have great or... cantors. You've heard of a cantor. Oh, yes, of Cantorial course. Cantorial chants. Yes. We made it up before you guys. Yes, yes, out I know. All I'm saying is, though, but it's not silent night, baby Jesus. You're starting oh, to get on my nerves. You're well, starting to get saying. on my nerves. <laughs> baby Jesus. When are, is he in town? Anyway. Uh, no, no. Three Catholics went, huh, huh. <laughs> And you go back out in the road, you, doing the, uh, the, you do the casinos, don't you? Oh, the, I, I sure yeah. do. I do the Indian casinos. And the only problem is, every time I work, they keep circling the hotel with hey, 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 hey. Pain in the ass. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> They, they keep circling and boom, and then I have to be nice. And the chief always comes up and goes, We like show what the kid when they were. Then I gotta go outside and wash their horse for crying out loud. Don, Don, I, I played at Indian casinos. That's not true. You're, ju you're just making well, that up. Well, that's why I'm a star and you're still yeah, in right, the All right, all right. I guess that's the way it is. Don Rickles, everybody. All right, man. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody. Don Rickles. Welcome. Okay, Welcome. that's it for me. Yeah. How are you, Don? Snap out of it. It's not a carnival. It's a show. Hey, it's not nice young people. You have a nice young audience, really. Nice. <laughs> Except the, the guy here in the front with the Washington haircut. Yeah. Get him a get him a cherry tree and get him out of here. Okay, how you been? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Don't pick on the man. How 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 how, how, how long have you have you had that? that, 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 that. Well, no, 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 I don't have that. No, you're good. You're it's good. It's the heat's getting to me. It's August. I no, always I, get like this in August. A lot of a lot of, lot of good talk about your show. A lot of people have been telling me they're turning it on. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, twelve thirty at night when when the wife's just laying there going, sweetheart, you want to fool around? I said, no, Greg's on. Greg's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. When you're married forty-four years, you got a Jewish wife. She just lays there and goes. <laughs> You 
You young people will find out it's not all the big job, you know? It's, there's more to it. <laughs> now you gotta enjoy life. How long are you married now? Uh, six months. Ah, good. <laughs> He's really crazy about it, isn't he? Ah, uh, six months. <laughs> no, I was doing that thing. <laughs> I, I heard that this has just come out in Canada. Congratulations! Well, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you made it in Canada. Well, what are you talking to me like I'm a Mountie? I'm not a Mountie. <laughs> Canada, 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 that's the big time. Howard Blank and all those people up in Vancouver and all the great people yeah. up there. And I, I'm delighted that it's on there. And I, by the way, I won two Emmys for that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Shut up. You, yeah. you can keep the applause down. Yeah. <laughs> No, two Emmys, you know, I'm in the business 50 years. 50 years. And I said, when, I, what is this on tape? I know what I'm saying. You know, yeah, what do you, what do you, play back Charlie? I yeah, mean, yeah. Talking to the FBI, yeah, where were you? In the car, in the car, in the car, in the car. <laughs> Don't do that unless your apartment needs heat. Yeah, all right. You don't remember that in New York when we were struggling actors, we used to do, all right, all right, I'll turn on the heat. Anyway. I didn't have to go there. Sit up. It's not a toilet. Sit up. Sit up. <laughs> Guys, sit here in shorts like this. <laughs> you want a magazine? Anyway, uh, they, don't, they don't understand that. They said it's too fast. I forgot where I was working. Put up the signs. Anyway, so I went. You don't have signs? That was good the way you turned around like that. That really, like, that really yeah, helps. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it again. Helps the joke that went in the yeah, toilet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here to help. I'm yeah. here to serve. No need to holler. I'm right on top of you. No, no, this is, this is that's part. That's my yeah. thing. I do. Yeah. I yell stuff in a phony Scottish no, accent. You, the Scottish accent. Is great. I've never been to Scotland. Have you not? They no. love you there. You know. Yeah, well, you I'm not go. going. Why not? <laughs> Too many other great places to go. And I have nothing against Scotland. There's Italy. There's Israel. No, I don't want to go to Israel now. I don't feel like ducking. Anyway, I'm a Jew, so there's no problem. <laughs> the German guy with the rifle. It's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no chairmans in here. So, are you going to say I'm a liar? Yeah, no, I'm not saying you're a liar. I was saying, look, if you remember, I was congratulating you on your newfound fame in Canada. Yeah, well, I, 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 not I... only Canada. You know, this, this, very honestly, when John Landis and my son Larry and, and, a, and a great group of people and Tony O and, and Elliot Weissman and all this put this thing together, yeah. it, it, really, it, it really tells a story of, of how tough a life a comedian can have and how joyous it can be. And for you young people, it's... It's really something I, I think you'll enjoy because it, it tells the personal part of your life and it tells the fun part of your life. And as I hold this in my hand, I want to thank the Academy. Thank you. Give me the damn thing. Give me the damn thing. Gee. Well, you, got all these, you got all these different people. Why, I, why, why am I not in this lineup? You don't get everybody else there. Because you're I'm... not big enough. Why, come on! <laughs> no, you're, you're big enough, but I, I, I wanted to keep it funny and happy, you know? <laughs> that you'll break it for crying out loud. Don't worry, that, this is the American Stop one. Stop dying, it's not an x-ray, it's, it's a show for crying out loud. Good one too. Oh, God bless you kid, keep going. <laughs> uh, what about the, uh, the Orleans, you go to the Orleans, I yeah, love that great room hotel, in the Orleans. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I, I mean, They've got a bowling alley, you know. <laughs> I'm not Polish. Anyway, uh, and nothing, for, no, I, the Polish people are great, but they, they're big in bowling, Jews don't bowl, we own the alley. Anyway, uh, Hey, I laughed at your crap. You're no, gonna start right, laughing. Right, right, right. Oh God! Oh! oh, oh. Anyway, so <laughs> why, why do you sit like that? Are you? Are you? Do you think I'm a dentist? Why? <laughs> Would you want me to sit next to you? You like me? No, 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 no. I'm sitting next to you. I got enough of No, no, no. Yeah, I'm sitting next to you. There you go. I don't want you. I don't want you. Hey. Those are great boots. Well, thank you. Those are great boots. You now, that, that right there, that's your oh, Austin These aren't bad. These are a little right gay, there. but they're not bad. <laughs> no, these are great. These they are, are Your shoes are smart. Yeah, you happy with those? They're what is this, a shoe show? We're doing a regular show here. Right? No, no, we're getting a little more daytimey now. Oh. I'm asking you about... Hey, this you know, is great. It's, it's nice, about, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, on, we're on American Airlines. More yeah, peanuts? Yeah. More peanuts. Yeah. Remember, you go, you go to Germany around the world, right, Scotland? Yeah. I, yeah. I was just on the airline now, and the girl came up and said, Sir, would you care for another round of peanuts? And it's 78 hours, and you get peanuts, you know. <laughs> and I love when, when, when they come, oh, this is the captain. You notice, you can never hear, because I just came from uh, Connecticut. I was up in Foxwoods, and we had a long, from Boston, it's a long ride back, you know. You people, you get out of the house at all, you people? No, no, anyway. no, no, no. 
So when you come back, it's a long trip. But from, I love from, when, from, from Fox News in Connecticut to Boston? That's like two hours. No, no, don't be a smart ass. Ah. Don't be a smart ass. I'm just trying to help you. Uh, uh, again, you're yelling. Will you stop no, yelling? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, so no, so you come back and the pilot gets on, you know, like you're maybe two hours from Boston out, and you hear, this is the captain speaking. Well, on the inside of the seat, and it's hot, 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 right? And you're all not available, baby. You see the seatbelt, and I'm buying it. Yeah, and it's hot, 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 Crash. Anyway, so. Uh, I was just thinking that. It's a long, long ride. No, how long, you, the, the, the gentleman with the yellow shirt, how long are you married? Ten years. Do you have to do this? Ten years? <laughs> you got a little spring on your ass that makes you do that? Ten years? <laughs> Ten years. God bless you. Third wife? <laughs> Second wife. See? <laughs> yeah, no, not bad, not bad. You were only one off. Oh, uh, you, you're, you're very stunning. You, you look like you're very happy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know when you talk to these people, we have to pay them. Well, with the money you make, you'll get over it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I spoke to Peter LaSalle, your producer, who said to me, it's a little out of line what he makes. You know, you, you do it, you know, you got to think of it. You yeah. were doing comedy sketches on other television shows, yeah. and today you're a big star, you're making a lot of money, you got married. Who are you, you talking to? Who are you finished? Let me finish. Right. You got a, big house, got a big house in Malibu. A big house in That's Malibu. right. I met your son, who loves to do magic. Oh, my, yeah, my son. Yeah, yeah, son yeah. is like, what, 10, 11? Eight. Eight. I'm yeah. not a kidnapper. You can tell me the truth. No, no, I'm telling you. He's eight. Eight, eight is, is adorable, and he does magic. He right, comes eight. over here at a dinner party, which we were at, That's and he said, right. what's his name again? Milo. Right! Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> He got it right! Set him again! Anyway, move up two steps, you got it right. Anyway, so, I'm really so, glad I remembered so, it, actually. And the kid's That's adorable. <laughs> don't, when I'm talking, don't Okay, do I'm sorry. No. This guy here in the front's great. He's sitting like this the whole show. <laughs> the hell are you, a mannequin? Will you, will you stop talking to me? We have to pay them. I told you we have to pay don't them. Don't get over it. The, the whole front row. These guys are great. They, they really dressed up for the show. They're, yeah. sitting there, they're sitting there in their underwear, for crying out loud. <laughs> So, so his son, his son, adorable kid, he comes up and says, Mr. Rickles, want to see some magic? And, and I'm having a couple of vodkas, and I'm not in the mood for no eight-year-old kid pulling on my pants to do magic, you know. And he goes, watch this, Mr. Rickles. Turn the room, boom, boom, disappear. And of course, he's an eight-year-old kid, and you go, so, so where's the magic? That, watch this again, Mr. Rickles. Disappear. <laughs> so I slapped him in the face, and he went away. For ah. No, that's a joke. He that's, was ador he's adorable, yeah. but he loves to do magic. Tell him, I, tell him I talked about him, okay? Yeah, well, we should. <laughs> I, to be honest, I mean, you're a legend, Don, but with the eight-year-old set, I just don't know how much... Uh, they'll that's learn going. someday. All right, if I'm God just lets saying. me live, they'll know someday. Right, oh, well, by the way, yeah. I was in New York recently. I got a segue because you're not a big help. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I was in New York. This is... Okay, listen, I'm listening. And, yeah, any of you in New Yorkers know this. And I love New York. I was born and raised in New York. And so, a couple of weeks ago, we're in New York, and we came out of Elaine's. It's a very prominent restaurant there, which we hang out late at night. And we're coming out of Elaine's at, late at night, and you, you have these gentlemen that are in bad trouble. You know, I don't want to use the word beggars. They're not beggars. They're people in trouble. Well, they're beggars. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but they're people in trouble, really. A lot of homeless. We've got a lot of economic problems, which you all know, but I won't get into that. But anyway, so we're walking down the street. My wife and I and a few people. Uh -huh. And a guy says, oh, Mr. Rickles, Mr. Rickles, please. And I use that voice because... That's how they sound. Yeah. Mr. Rickles, please, please, help me, help me. Uh, yeah, 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 got a few dollars. Give me, give me something, Mr. Rickles. Mr. Rickles. And I always have a set thing that I do all the time. I take a $5 bill out of my pocket and I say, here's $5, buy yourself a ranch. Okay? And the guy goes, thank you, Mr. Rickles. And we walk away, and that, usually that's the end of it. And as we're walking up the street, this same man comes running after me. Now, Mr. Rickles, we need cattle. <laughs> My name is Drake, and I am, I am the sad gay clown at the head of a mighty robot skeleton army. Or, I'm a middle-aged white guy telling jokes in the middle of the night. Either way, you're here, I'm here, why not carry on? My next guest, in fact, there's a bit of class now, so behave yourself. He's a comedy icon. He's at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas, March the 20th and the 21st. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody! Don Rickles.
I agree. <laughs> no, that's awfully sweet here, really. I, I, in my career, I've gotten applause, but this is cute. When you've got an audience of about 12 and I go crazy. <laughs> Just go crazy. Yeah, they go. It's a very, very small audience, but they're, they're quality. Why, quality are you, why are you yelling? I'm right on top of you. <laughs> By the way, it's what? nice to be back with you. You're a good friend, and I'm delighted to be on your show. I really am. You're, you're, he's a special kind of guy. You know, we've been together socially. We've got to know each other over the years now. With Peter LaSalle, his producer, who's, who's, who's in the background wondering if Johnny Carson will call. <laughs> anyway. Johnny, rest his soul, was a, was a great artist. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 no, no, absolutely. Those are great ad libs. Yeah, no, thanks. I was just, uh, I was just trying to remind you I'm here. <laughs> I, was, I was yelling at I'm uh, over uh, here. Uh, I'll, I'll remind you of something. <laughs> Why? 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 Listen, Don. No, Don. Don, listen to me. Listen to me. This is, I, I need you to concentrate. Okay. All right. What is this, I, a test? When you hear yeah, the bell. Is it, is it, just come on. When you hear the bell, go to history. Right. right. <laughs> Are you, are, do you, do you go on the Twitter? Do, do, do you, do, do you, do, do you? You see, you never got, you got your visa, you became an American, and you're still doing it. Uh, 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 uh. You still can't get over wearing those funny pants and watching sheep die. <laughs> he, you're in America a long time now. I mean, when I first met him, I got on the show and said, how are you? Uh, 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 uh. And, and, and all your crew went, isn't he great? Isn't he great? Now, come on, you gotta start. And listen, do me a favor. There's a new thing out called a hanky. You don't, you don't sniff like that. You don't do that. Now, listen, but I want to tell you something. That was good, see? That's, see, that's talent. When he went... Where? Oh, nice to see you. Dad, you saw the Swedish girls, didn't you? Yes! I'm yeah. much... I'm happily married now, darling, <laughs> and I don't get excited anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's enough now. <laughs> Nothing else moves except this. <laughs> By the way, his name is Spider. Anyway, that's, that's too deep for you. I'm sorry. Show the cards. See, that's cute. Well, what are you tired? Oh, you're still here? I thought, I thought you forgot about me. <laughs> I thought you'd met your new friends from Sweden and you were off. No, they, no they, they're young and beautiful. Uh, they are. Where were you 60 years ago when I was... <laughs> when I was in heat 24 hours a day? Yeah. Yeah. No, they, they're beautiful girls. Are you, all, are you all single girls? Yes. Want to go to a party? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock it off. Knock it off. There's laws against that kind of thing. Now, that's sexual harassment. You can't talk to an audience like that. You have to respect them. <laughs> that, was good. that was a good speech. Thanks. No, okay. See, I let you talk, and where do you go? Right yeah, to dump yeah, it. Yeah, it doesn't no, mean anything. So what's new? Hey, hankies, hankies. You were the one that started on the hankies, that's and then you're there. Yeah. Well, you okay. Got, you, well, yeah, there's the one right there. Okay, Scotsman turns on Jew. No, that's not fair. That's not fair. Okay. I don't think that's fair. Nah. How's Barbara's Barbara all right? Oh, thank God. She, we, you know, uh, I must say, we're, we're married, uh, well, we're, we're married 45 years. Wow. Yeah. Don't applaud, you never saw her. <laughs> anyway, uh, see, that joke will cost me. That yeah, that will. That will. Jewish broads, you can't, you, know, you got to come up with a couple of diamonds or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> She sits around in Malibu, you know, with a, with a ring, signaling ships. <laughs> Come on, this is funny I, I, stuff. I, 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 no, it's, 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 it's great stuff. Uh, no, I'm if I leave it up to you, we'll be mutes. No, no, no. I'm just working at a slower pace tonight. I'm working at a slower pace. A slower pace. A slower pace. <laughs> How's you know, Barbara you know then? She, is she good? That's what I asked you. Is Barbara? Is she all right? Well, yeah, but I have a new thing now. She gets up at night. You have a new thing? She must be happy about that. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Yeah, finally. Whoa. I was wondering where it was. Yeah. Boy, I, was Boy, I know. You, you I mean, were really I, trailing me. You were worried. I was. I think we were all a little worried. Anyway, we got that right. Good. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. But you, you're, a, hey, you're a newly married man. You're a lovely wife. Yes, I. Yes, yes. I met her. She's adorable and she beautiful, mm -hmm. and it's great. It's going good. She's Swedish. <laughs> 
She's not. She's not. But she kind of could be. She has blonde hair. She's a lovely girl. She, she really, is. Yeah, really she is. is. You like her, don't you? Yeah, I like her so. No, yeah. but I mean that, that last party we were at. You what were am I, Tiger like, Woods? Was, I got a no, lot no, of no, no. You were you were getting a little bit grabby. <laughs> Not, no, not me. Oh, no, yeah, yes, yeah, you. That you was were... you in the back of, with the waitress going, ah. Hey, no. No. no not I, me, not me, John. I'm I a never sad get gay I never get horny like that. Spider to go to sleep at night. When you get older, you get in bed, get in the pajamas, and, and, and the big guy goes, <laughs> In the old days, when I was your age, got in the pajamas, and he went, when I was single. <clears throat> Always searching. <laughs> and then when I was younger, when I was 18, 19 in the yeah. Navy, yeah. you know, we used to talk about broads and widows, tight pants, and all of a sudden you looked down and you said, is that a, is that a boil? <laughs> See, you weren't, well, you, you weren't in the service. No, I wasn't in the Navy, no. Well, I, I dressed as a sailor a couple of times. <laughs> But I wasn't uh, in the Navy. Ah, uh, God, I, yeah, I was in the Navy. I was... How long were you in the Navy for then? Oh, about 30 years. No, I was in the Navy two and a half years, World yeah. War II. Where, where were you, Pacific? Uh, no, no, Spain. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I was in the, I was in the Philippines, uh, Tacloban, Lingayan Gulf, Cebu. I was on PTs. Uh, I kept saying, I said, I'm a comedian. This is true. I said, I'm a comedian, I do jokes. I said, keep firing. <laughs> Said, no, 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 you don't understand, sir. Joe, keep firing. <laughs> and now they all come to Vegas, watch the show, and go, funny guy. <laughs> and I gotta kiss their ass so my grandchildren get toys. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> hey, you know, we, we gotta take a commercial break. Are you okay with that? No, oh, sure. Hey, with the salary you get, take everything yeah, you right. get. We'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Don Rickles. We'll right back. I'm trying to be nice to you, but you keep interrupting I, me. What's it now? Before I forget, because right, we're good friends, so I can uh, take this liberty. Okay. My, my manager's been under the weather. His name is uh, uh, Elliot Weissman, uh -huh. and he's, uh, he's had some problems with his health, but uh, I just wanted to let him know that we're thinking of him and wish him good things. That, that's right. 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 On that note, on that note of uh, managing your career, uh, I said earlier on that you were at the Orleans Casino on Feb in March, but it's February, apparently. It's February the 20th and the right. 21st. I'm just writing it down here right, next sure. to that excellent yeah. joke. That and I then joke. pick up but some chopped liver and boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom, chopped boom. liver. And a Diamonds boom, for Barbara. Boom, boom, boom. She's got yeah. uh, she's Hey, got the Orleans is a great place, isn't it? I, I like that casino. And, uh, I used to go what, do you th what do you think of Vegas? It's new to you compared to my years. Oh, I've been well, there 50 years. And... Uh, it seems like a big corporate event to me. I mean, the, when you were there with uh, Frank oh, and Dean yeah, yeah, and Sammy, well, you know, that was a very different time. Yeah, right? what happened to them? Uh, anyway, uh... <laughs> no, I don't want to be the one to tell you. No. <laughs> and I don't want to make too many jokes. Yeah, some, of, some of their friends were alive and yeah. we could stand here going, No! Yeah. <laughs> No, there were, there, were, there were great times that Mr. Sinatra, rest his soul, was, was a great friend to Barbara and I, and uh, his lovely wife Barbara's still with us, and he was, he was a great man. He really he had some dark sides about him, but to know him was to love him, and then Dean was great. All those guys in Sammy, we, we had some great fun. Today, it, you know, it's like... Vegas is very different. Well, sure, you, yeah. you have a cup of coffee, the guy goes, cup of coffee. Four, here's your chit, here's your card, here's your boom. Hey, oh, hey you watch hey, 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 come on, let me see. The Jew wants to go no. with you. <laughs> Remember those kind of guys? I would say. I would say, anyway, so it, it was great because it had an atmosphere of uh, the, the tough guys were, were always great to the actors. Now, today it's different. Everybody is wonderful, I must say, but it's more corporate. You know, it's more, yeah. uh, for everything advances. It's now more of a, a Disneyland kind of atmosphere where you can bring your family and your kids. In and, my day, and also prostitutes. You, there's still prostitutes. There. <laughs> Don't be crude. I hate that when you're crude. Talked about your penis called Spider to the, spe the Swedish girls. What did you say about Why am I being crude? You're out of control. Well, I'm just saying, you've upset me because you said. You're out of control. Well, Damn I'm it. Now, I can't take too much more. No, You're out no, of control. No, no. I'm trying to be nice. Don't all right, sting me. All right, all right, all right.
They come over here from another country no, with a dress. Don't start, so with, don't start with that. Well, now, how long have you been a citizen? A year. Uh, going, two, two years. Well, you're going back. Well, no, you can't. <laughs> John, we have to take, uh, apparently, yet another commercial break. Will you stick around? Oh, sure. It's, it's a mercy thing. Yeah, well, thank you. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Don Rickles Show. Oh, I'm, his, I'm his sidekick, the sad gay clown from another country. <laughs> we were talking about Las Vegas. By the way, you know what's on tonight? Uh, well, it's been done already. Regis was on with, uh, with his wife, Joy. On uh, Dave? On, on Letterman. Yeah, oh, you yeah. know, the guy you walk around behind his car and go... <laughs> hey, hey, don't be embarrassed. Yeah, hey, for the money you get, you should do that. Do that. Do what? Go behind his car and yeah, go... <laughs> yeah. Why did I do that? I know what I said. What is this, on tape? I know what how we said. I, I'm just making sure. Gee, I'm checking everything I say anymore. <laughs> this gentleman here, sir, would you sit up? This is not a toilet, if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, come on, sit up. No, it's a trouble. It's, it's, it's a guy in front of You were. You were sliced over. He was. He was. No, you're right. He was sliced over. How about a, how ba how about a magazine? You want a magazine? Yeah. Get him a magazine. We, we got visitors from another country here, pal. You don't want to be sitting all slouched over like that. <laughs> Isn't he great? <laughs> so, back. Let's, let's, so Regis let's... was on, Dave. Did you watch it? It was fantastic. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, Regis really believes he, you know, he's Pavarotti. Forget about uh, it. Yeah, I know. But Re he's a darling man, and so is Joy. They're great people. No, Regis it's is coming here. He wants me to sing a song with him that night. But you know what? what? Reading your book, you, you, you did everything. You're a, you're a fine singer, too. No, no, no. I just put that in the book. It's a lie, though. No, you yeah, can yeah, sing. Yeah, yeah. You can sing. No, a little bit. Yeah. You had quite a life. You know what? I didn't realize uh, uh, what yeah. you went through. You went to get to the big time like this. It really was. Oh, come on. Come without, on. Without, come without, on. Come on. No, I'm not going to do it without a band, with a small little group and a tiny studio that nobody cares about. I mean, yeah, no. You've really gotten big, and that's great. Big I mean, for me. Yeah. Big for me. Hey, I'm 83, and I'm, I'm kissing up no. to you because I'm going no place. No way you're 83. You're not 83. You're 83? I'm 83 You must moisturize. Do you moisturize? In, in May, I'll be 84. 84 in May. Yeah, not bad, huh? Yeah. Hey, what day is your birth? My birth is in May. May 8th. Me, you, and Harry Truman. When was yours? May 17th. That's a bad number. No, come on. No, God bless you. That's well, that great. means you're a Taurus and I'm a Taurus. That's why we get along that's so That's why quick. we get along. Let's get some broads and get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Swedish girls. <laughs> you don't want old yeah, man. He's young. Yeah, you and me yeah. forget about it. I, I just lay in bed now and just spit up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> More diamonds, <laughs> more Barbara. Up, yeah. 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 All right. That's right. All right. Definitely. So listen, you're going back to Vegas. Are you out in the road? You're doing more stand up around the country, oh, that yeah. kind of thing. Thank you. you know, I really am. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I I just came back from a place that you're at. With, with both of us, with Austin, Texas. Uh, oh, I love it down there. I'm going down there soon to yeah. Texas. Oh, you're yeah. going back? Yeah. yeah. I, I I loved it there too. They were great to us. The theater. Yeah. Yeah. And did, did, you, did you have a look around the town of Austin? Oh yeah. Beautiful. You know, a lot of guys come up to me and went. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and, and they didn't even have a saddle on them. It was one of those. Hey, lady, this is what you're going to hear. It's free. <laughs> the woman with the guy that's I know the guy that's sitting. Goes, I know. Oh, I saw it. Oh. oh. Yeah. Billy Graham will come in in a minute and help your hand to get better. You know. You know. I, I think of that because I, I my biggest thrill in life, really, and I think. I'll ask you that same question. Okay. My biggest thrill in my career to, up to date was being in Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Center for Ronald Reagan, rest his soul, and Frank Sinatra had me uh, on the show. And this is the truth. This is the truth. And they, Frank called me in Hawaii. I was in Hawaii. Right. He says, Don, you're going to be on the inaugural for Ronald Reagan. I said, Frank, you're kidding? I'm, just pack your bags. Do what I tell you. You're going to be there. Yeah. Frank goes to Ronald Reagan's cabinet. And says, we're going to have Rickles on. No, no, what are you, crazy? We're going to have Rickles. <laughs> no, no. He says, you're going to have Rickles. No, no. And he said, God rest his soul. He said, if you don't have Rickles, you don't have me. Oh. That's, that's the truth. That's how it started out. And then I got to Washington and had the Marine Guard and all that fancy stuff. And, and they said, well, what is Rickles going to do? And he said, whatever he wants. 
<laughs> and I've, I've never been off the color of the road. I really haven't. I, if you see me in person, you'll realize. I, I say a couple of things, but nothing, you know, the young kids today open with them. Yeah, that's and, you know, true, yeah. And, hey, I don't put it down. If the people laugh and show up for them, more power to them. But I'm getting a little pissed off. <laughs> anyway, uh... No, not really, not really. They're, they're wonderful young comedians, and I'm happy for them. Oh, I don't like them. Well... <laughs> well, any guy that drinks out no, of a thing no, like that, no, how are you going to like anybody? I, I'm right. telling you, the young comedians with the, hey, have you ever noticed how some things are like other things? No, I'm 47, I've been married three times. I never noticed how some things are like other things. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, hey, have you ever noticed? Yeah. Plenty son of a bitch. Yeah, Plenty yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. Anyway, so you're at the inauguration, it's Ronald Reagan. Yeah, Ronald Reagan, right, right, thank you. And so we're at the inauguration, and I get up there, and, uh, and bless me, I did Rickles as Rickles does, and I made fun of the president, and, I, he, and Ronald Reagan was a great man. He really was, forgetting your politics, but he was a great man. And I don't say that sarcastically, I mean, really, whatever you believe in. You know, today, it's, it's like today, Obama, uh, God bless me, he's a new president, everybody's happy. But you go to parties here in L.A., and if, if you like George Bush or if you didn't like George Bush, in my day you said, well, not my cup of tea, or it wasn't my kind of guy. Today you say at a party, you say to me, Don, uh, you know, uh, oh, President Obama, I didn't like the speech you made Friday. Uh, Don, uh, President Obama, I didn't like... What are you, crazy? What do you mean you didn't like Friday? What are you, nuts? What are you, nuts? Obama's the greatest! What are you, crazy? That is insane! It's true. Absolutely true. Don, we're out of time. I gave you the whole damn show and, we're, and we still don't have enough time. You're going to have to come back again and end oh, the story because we're, out, we're yeah. out of time. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, no. you, you, you folks are delightful. And I tell you, being in the company of this man, really, and I got to know him socially as a friend, he and his lovely wife, to know him is to be really blessed because he's, he's full of warmth and, and he's a real booster and a supporter of all of you people. He really is. Yeah. Well done, Rickles, everybody. We'll be right back. of In Your Pants. In Your Pants. With, uh, my name's Jeff Peterson. Uh, my first guest tonight is a, a young rising star in the stand-up comedy circuit. He's, uh, yeah, he's sensational, this kid. He's, uh, he, it's, on September the 23rd, he's going to be at the Casino Rama in Ontario, Canada. Uh, and then on October the 16th and 17th, he's at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Please welcome the rising young star of American comedy, Mr. Don Rickles. <laughs> That's enough. Don't get, don't get him. He'll, he'll get uh, ideas if you start with that. That was, that was very kind of you, but it should have gone longer. <laughs> no, thank you very much. I, I'm very, I'm very proud of that. You know, as we, as we get older in this business, uh, you're, you're very grateful that the good Lord gives you a chance to perform. And when I see you folks respond to, you see us, you know, it's never old. It's like what's in here. So don't ever think you're old. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought for once you were going to be sincere there. I thought you were going to. I thought it was. Uh, it was going to be a heartfelt moment, and then people would be all excited about why it. And you, there you went. You undercut it again. Why are you hollering? What are you hollering about? Uh -huh. I'm right here. I'm excited. You know, that reminds me. That reminds me. It has nothing to do with anything. You know, you you you. <laughs> You young people, you're a Broadway, you know, you ever see the Broadway actors? And I love Broadway, and that's the one thing in my life, I don't know about you, what? but I never did Broadway, and I, want, I did off-Broadway, but never did Broadway proper. I said, gee, if I got a shot on Broadway before I die, that would be great. And I've had a few opportunities, but, you know, it means work. And so, uh, 
And so Broadway was always the thing. But if you ever meet a Broadway actor, and you meet them socially, you go, how are you, Tom? I'm pretty good, Don. How are you? Now you meet them the night before the show goes on. Ah, oh, are you excited about the show? I'm fine, Don. How's the family? Are you okay? And then they go on the stage. Broadway, my mother knows my dog is dead. Broadway. Broadway. And they talk like this all the time, you know? So that was the story, which you people have no idea what the hell I was talking about. Hey, that's pretty good, though. Hey, uh, that's, uh... What a night! What a night! You don't have this excitement too often, and when you get to my age, this goes up. Anyway, uh... All right, here's 100 for you for the broad, and 200 right, for yeah. me. Does those money bits? He's, he's a lonely guy. He's a lonely. By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, may I may I drop this in? But what? and I and I really mean this, my uh, this wonderful man, uh, his lovely wife. Uh, you're going to have a baby. We are, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so you, you have you have one child. Yeah, I got a nine-year-old boy, and I've uh, got another one coming. No, well, another nine-year-old boy. I, I mean, they, uh... <laughs> isn't he great? Dynamite. Everything he says, dynamite. Yeah, I see. I, sometimes when you do that, I just don't think you're being sincere. I think, <laughs> be, I think you're being sincere. That's a it, wild guess. No, you're right. You're right. I don't know why you do that. I'm all because I don't like you. <laughs> see, I, I never liked you. I never liked you. I respect you, but I don't like you. I see. I don't even think you respect me. I think. No, that's not true. Okay. I don't respect you, because I'm so pissed off that you skyrocketed. I can't believe it. <laughs> Here, when I met him, he was in Scotland going, nah, all right. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that yeah. was quite hey, a weekend. I saw you laughing. <laughs> you like that one. You don't see the host laugh at what no, I do. No, you know? no. Usually they go off like, like a lot of them. Oh, that son of a bee. No, no, no. No, I, anything with sheep, I'm usually interested. <laughs> I won't go there. Yeah. You've been over there. You've been over to Scotland. Have you been over there? No, I never have. We really? like to go to places where we can have fun. Oh, I love, I, I, I've been over to England. I've been in England. I love when well, they go, Mary, Daddy's home. Daddy's home, Mary. Want to take a pop at it, Mary? How about a pop? You know, they don't even know what that is, you know? I, you know what I love? This guy in the front, guy, the little heavy set guy, the guy with my, and he's sitting there like, a, what's going on, Rose? <laughs> Sit back. You're a heavy guy. Sit back. Because a couple of minutes, you'll, the, the guy next to you is going to go. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Is that your dad? Is that your dad? Is that your dad? God bless you, dad. I was only kidding. Dad! The old man. See, you can always tell when they get old because the mouth can't close. <laughs> You can't do that, no. My, you know, I, hey, I'm 84, but I close the, Dad, you gotta keep the mouth closed, otherwise they, they come with a hook and you're in a box, like this. <laughs> keep the mouth closed, they'll never know. But as soon as you do this... That's when the guy goes, get the sheet, Lou, get the sheet. No, 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 Wait no, a minute, no, I'm no, a no. funny son of a bitch. No, no. <laughs> Done. Can I just, just for a second, excuse me. CBS in no way endorses the music of <laughs> Mr. John Rickles. Ah, they ought to because you're going in the dumper without oh, it. Oh, come on. Come on. You know, you are a gracious, wonderful man. We, we, we got to know each other through Peter LaSalle. Peter, you're, the lovely Peter LaSalle. He produces not, this show. Yeah, he's, well, he's, uh, he's in, he's in the uh, wonderful control room, and this is what he does. <laughs> But he's a charming guy, and he takes care of you. And he was with uh, Johnny Carson, who... Uh, you, did you know Johnny? No, I never met Johnny. He was... Uh, rest his soul, you young people and the oldest, too. He was a magnificent host, as well as this gentleman is. And, and Johnny was... Uh, <laughs> and made it, made it possible for guys like my friend Greg to, to be that successful. Why do you always call me Greg? My name's Craig. You call me Greg all the time. <laughs> You know me for years. You know me for you know. I've known you for like seven years now. You you still call me Greg. Why do you call me Greg? Because it's not going to change Frank. your career. Is it going to change it? Yeah. What? It's... You're going to have more people in this closet? What are you kidding? <laughs> the room the room seats two 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 hundred maybe and one against the wall on a hook and he's worried. 
He's worried. Is his name Craig or Krug? Who cares? Get up in the morning and say, nah. When, the, when does the dummy talk? Call me a hockey puck. Just once. <laughs> Hey, Rickles, who's the dummy now? Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, I'm still uh, uh, how, how do you challenge a toy? <laughs> anyway, uh, in uh, your pants. <laughs> what did he say? He said, in your pants. In he your says pants. It all the time. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. I want his name and I want him dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's the trouble. He's already dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's just that. Yep. Yeah. We have to take a break now. Okay. Yeah. Let's get back to Weston. When you're through smelling your hand, we'll continue. Yeah. I'll be right back. Right. That was nice to have the audience do that. That was very sweet. Yeah, I didn't have them do it. They did it. No, I swear. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with my friend, Don Rickles. Now, I say he, he is my friend. I know he pretends like he's not my friend. No, but we, we are. We, we are. We're friends. Now, you... Kind of. You, uh... <laughs> when did we meet? We met when I first started the show, didn't we? Yeah, well, uh, uh, Peter LaSalle, again, Peter, who's a, an old friend and a good friend. He's not yeah. old. He's well... Hey, he's, he's yeah, pretty he old. He's yeah, old. He's yeah. old. <laughs> you see him walking around like... <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, what a night, what a night. <laughs> no, but uh, God bless, and, and Peter was the one that introduced us, and uh, he told me about you coming here, and uh, it was very exciting. And, and you made a way for yourself, because the com competition, you know, with, with all the, the people uh, on television today, and it's great that you created your own identity, which is so important. I, 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 I think mean, the lack of money helped. I think what happened uh, was... Uh, you don't have an orchestra, you don't have a lot of things, but you have a show that's weak, and it's going. Yeah. <laughs> and I think... <laughs> I think that's, I think that's the charm. I yeah, think that people are not being, threatened. That's, that's, yeah, they're not threatened by talent. But you or... know what you have? That's, you know, you know what you have, which is uh, your opening is so great. When you hit the, the the uh, camera and you do America, blah blah blah, yeah. and you do it with this uh, wonderful dummy pain in the ass out there. <laughs> and, and you know, and you, and you do all that stuff, and you do all that stuff. That's original and that's great. That's what makes you so successful, in my opinion. Well, really. I think what is is that what happens, the reason I hit the camera is because to get it going. <laughs> what a night. Yeah, what a night. <laughs> Tell me about doing the Orleans in Vegas. I love the Orleans. Five, six. Oh, oh anyway. Uh, I'm doing the stand up again. I see that's a great room there in that Orleans there in Vegas. It is. Uh, mm. I, 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 you know, it's 50 years. God bless. 50 years in Las Vegas and. Uh, I started in lounges and, and now in the Orleans Hotel, which is a great room for comedy. Yeah, it really is. is yeah. People say, you know, com comedy, we people in comedy, uh, I, I tell you very honestly, you know, a singer comes out there, someone like Sinatra, got lucky. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> One man on earth could say that, by the way. It's, it's only a joke, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> what can he do to me? <laughs> But, you know, I always said, my mother, rest of the soul, always said to me, Don, you're out there, we sell ourselves. We have nothing. We're, we're like bare naked. We come up if you like us. And it's personality. You know, so many times you hear a guy say, oh, that joke was funny. But if you don't like his personality, you get a little uptight. And so we have to sell ourselves. Uh, this wonderful gentleman, Craig and I, every night, we sell ourselves wherever we work. And, and you get, even when you go to dinner, like my wife says, well, my wife, you know, 45 years married, and you know what her big comment is? Is that about it? I've heard a say. I've heard a say. I've heard a say. No, because as Craig knows with his lovely wife, we're always performing. When you meet people, you can't say, How are you, Don? I, I would like to say, I feel lousy. Leave me alone. <laughs> we can't do that. You've because... done that to me. Wait a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Well, You've well, done that to me. Well, with you, I meant it. All right, okay. Anyway, uh... No, not seriously. But yeah, we're, always, we're always trying to sell ourselves. And my wife's, uh, I don't know how about your missus is, but in 45 years, I, that's why I love her, I married a Valium, you know. I go into, I, I go into a, a restaurant and I'll say, Don, how I go, what do you say, sweetheart, how are you? She's like, will you stop it? Just stop it. <laughs> Talk like a person. I said, if I would, you wouldn't have a dime of jewelry. Yeah, well, let's do that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we're out of time, though. We're out of time? Out of time. Okay. Hey, no, oh, no, no, no. 
tell you, I'll be trying to leave a little more, you know, a little bit of a hug after you're done. Oh, I see. You know, I, I see. Hey, this has been a wonderful night for me. I'm going back tomorrow to the States. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you the very best. I, I wish you and the best. And with your as well. new child, may God be good to you uh, and your lovely God wife. You. I mean it from my heart. You're indeed a gentleman and a great deal of class. And God you, my you. friend, I mean, and, and Maestro are, I mean, are a legend, and it's, a, it's just a, a joy to know you. Don Rickles, everybody. Don Rickles. guest this evening is one of the greatest comedians of all time. He would tell you he was the greatest comedian of all time. I'd say he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. <laughs> all right, he's the greatest comedian of all time. <laughs> he's got a stand-up tour underway. August the 6th, he's playing Mohegan Sun. August the 20th, the Arcada Theatre in St. Charles, Illinois. And then September the 16th and 17th, he's in Vancouver. <sighs> <laughs> Did the lights just go out there? The lights changed there a bit, didn't they? No? <laughs> Ooh la la! With me, they did. They did, didn't they, Jeff? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> Mr. Warm, the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody. <laughs> It was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was not bad. It doesn't like they're glad to see you. I'm still a little, I don't know, but... You don't have to yell. I'm right on top of you. Well, I don't know. I like to make sure you can hear me. Okay, that's it for me. <laughs> I like that you're wearing tweed. Is that tweed? What, are you blind? No, I'm just saying. It's, it's a tweed. It's I don't know. Nice. Well, I'm not in the garment business. It's a jacket. I but paid for it and I got it. It's nice. It's tweed. a nice jacket. I was trying to give you a compliment. That's all. Jesus, you're getting oh. out of control. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm overcompensating. Ah, uh, don't worry. This show's going to stay on as long as I say so. <laughs> nah, it's great. And, and nice to see you folks. Because, you know, you work a lot of shows. It's, supposed to, it's in the dark. You know, you don't see the people. Yeah, yeah. But here you see the people. Yeah. And maybe we should be in the dark. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Don't, don't put them down. They're all dressed pretty bad. <laughs> Look at this guy sitting here in his underwear. I love when they come in with the jeans. Hey, Rose, what time does the show go on? <laughs> You get the class. You get the class. Did you that scratchy, suggestive well, thing? Well, I got a fungus. It's from the Navy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's a, this is CBS, buddy. You can't be scratching yourself like that. I can do whatever I want. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You hey. came into my dressing room. I got ticks for crying out loud. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that again. No. <laughs> So annoyed with Yeah, me. no, come on now. Hey, listen, uh, the uh, the stand-up tour, right? You're going out and playing the Mohegan Sun? And oh, yeah, Mohegan yeah. Sun. Those Indian places are great, you know. Now, be especially careful, when... please. No, they're great. They're great people. Especially when the show's on, they keep... Hey, 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 hey. I don't mind doing a show, but, you know, the audience, they're all standing going... Oh, oh, oh. CBS in no way endorses the views of Mr. Rickles or any of the... Uh, Don't the, worry. Uh, with your job, you're shaky. Don't worry about it. They're going to dump you and it's over. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, you, can I talk? Yeah. I'm a guest. Yeah. I beg your pardon. What the hell is this? A no, tournament? I'm, I'm sorry. you got to fight to talk with this guy, for crying out loud. Nice to see... Are you J Japanese? Chinese? Are you uh, Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> We Jews, we love you, especially on Sunday. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off. Boy, I can talk. China, very pretty girls. You can't talk to the Chinese like that. We owe them money. <laughs> as long as they keep doing the laundry, everything's good. Oh. Hey, 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 like hey. he says. For come the money on. you're paying, that's a funny joke. Oh, come on, man. Gee. 
can't have worry about so, it. So let's talk to me about this uh, doing the stand up. No, big. I'll talk to you. All no right. Bag. Well, I'm just saying now. I'm I'm worried about you've got a hectic schedule. You got you got. No, the thank Sun. God. You know you're working. Mohegan Sun is great. Tom Tom Cantone. He's he's the big big guy there. You don't know him. He's a nice right. guy. No, I don't know the big guy. Stands out in front going Nicky Walker, Nicky. You give him a cookie and he goes away. Real pain in the ass. Do you still enjoy it? Do you still enjoy doing the stand-up? Well, sure. Really? Gives the wife a chance to put on the jewelry and stand in the house and go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> sure, I, you know what? It's the traveling. You're a pilot now. Yeah, well, I've been a pilot for a while, but I don't fly myself. <laughs> well, you can bet your bird I'm not going to go with you, I'll tell you no. that. <laughs> No, did I, you do flying in the Navy? No, you did some flying in no, the Navy. No, no, no. Jews don't fly in the Navy. <laughs> we just stand on the airport and say, here, buy me a plane. <laughs> no, I, I was in, I was, uh, yeah, I was in World War II, the big I one. I know, I know. <laughs> you, were, you were in Ireland walking around going, got to get him? <laughs> I've never even been to Ireland. I'm not from Ireland. I've never been to Ireland. Where, where, where are you from? I'm from Scotland. What, that's it? better? Yes, it's better. <laughs> Sit you know, around all day long going, all right, Charlie, pump it up. <laughs> Pumping your bagpipes. Get a day job, for crying out loud. I'm an American now. I'm not, I, I'm... Let me see your papers. I don't even know. Look, I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo see, right there. Don't, I, I, tattoos, sailors, that, that shows like you've like you got a lot of class. Don't worry about the tattoos. You don't need the tattoos. You're a big star now. Hide the tattoo. In the Navy, when a guy had a tattoo, it was supposed to be tough. Yeah. And you're not tough. I met you backstage. You know, you... <laughs> You're a nice guy with a lot of class, you know, and, and you got a wonderful, by the way, I saw your baby. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, my six-month-old yeah. baby just has met a, you. Has yeah. a wonderful baby, and the kid's like this. <laughs> no, know, it's adorable. Do you know what's amazing, though? What? I mean, I mean this with a great deal of respect. He looks exactly like you right now. <laughs> In fact, it was a Tuesday night. Hey! No, no, God bless it. It's a, and, and Megan, your wife, is, is beautiful, really. She is. I've, I've, she's got very bad eyesight, clearly. But uh, <laughs> do you know she has no sense of smell? <laughs> what do you do, sit in the bed all night going... <sighs> no, no, no. I love you, honey, but you stink! No, no, no. Anyway. She has no sense of smell. She can't smell when I smell. She had, had some kind of accident when she was a kid. She can't smell anything. Well, so what? That's <laughs> good news for a guy like me. <laughs> Put her in an institution and forget about her. <laughs> Can't smell. Look at the way this conversation's going. I went out some she stinks, which is a stupid joke to say. And you call her about how she smells. I'm not here to discuss your wife's high hygiene. I'm here to discuss why you're still on the air. Well, it's clearly an oversight. Things go a no. little late at night. You, you, by, the way, by the way, you're doing so well. I'm very happy for you. I really mean that. Isn't he? He's, he's really good. See, you always, you do the old zigzag there. You do that, 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 and then you go like that. Did you ever, did you ever in your life work with a partner? Did you ever have a, like a, a buddy or a sidekick or something you did your act with? No, somebody, to, you know, walk around behind me and check us under trying to pick me off or something like that. But yeah. No, no, I've always been alone because I'm, greatness doesn't need a partner. That's what I try. I, see. I, just, I just sit and I take a shower and, a, and the water runs up. I go, <laughs> my God, who am I? Oh. The other equipment just goes, eh. <laughs> When you're married 46 years, the wife says, I'm in love, and I say, I am too. Give me a minute, I gotta go in the other room and think about it. Anyway, uh, 46 years married, you, you should that's see. Amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll see her out on Hollywood Boulevard. Psst, sailor. Anyway, uh, I kid about her being a hooker and all that stuff, but she's... <laughs> she's not no, your wife's a very dignified and classy woman. I... No, you don't know when you're alone, boy. You don't know. Yeah. When she does that bathrobe trick, forget about it. She no. does the bathrobe trick? Why are you getting horny? What's the matter with you? You told me about the bathrobe no, trick. No, we got class. 46... Uh, do you make love often? <laughs> ah! You see? I give him a little sex and when he went to... You wet your pants just then, didn't you? I was going to say, on my own or with somebody else. That's all I was going to ask. <laughs> Now, sex is, see, you young people remember, sex is beautiful, but the basis is to be a friend and to care about each other and to wake up in the morning, and take a pop, but then forget about it a little bit. <laughs> but don't base your whole life on boom, 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 you know. I haven't, and that's why this leg don't work. Do you mind if we take a commercial break? Hey, it's your show. Do whatever you want. All right, we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Don.
Welcome back. I'm here with the legendary Don Rickles. Are you all right being called legendary? Is that okay with that? I don't mind. As long as I'm alive, thank God, you know. Yeah. I am now uh, 85 years young, and I feel good. 85? Yeah. Yeah. Now, you just... Uh, you just started on the uh, on the Tweety, the uh, the Twitter. Yeah, uh, well, uh, Barbara, that's my wife. Uh, you, you'll meet her later. She's out in the hall going, got a minute? You, you walk over and talk to her. <laughs> lonely broad, lonely broad. Anyway. But no, I, I just got into I know you're into that. The, the Twitter, and she said, yeah. it's, a, it's a good thing for you. And I've, it's, it, to do these tweets, it's new to me, but it, it, it keeps the, the head going. And I write some funny stuff, uh, hopefully. And I just joined the tweet, and I'm very excited about it. Now, what's, what's your tweety handle? Is that Don Rickles? That's it? Don, Don Rickles? Don, 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 Don. Don, Don Rickles? It's Don, Don, Don. I, I, don't, I think it's Malibu Bob. I, I don't, I really Malibu don't... Bob? Malibu Bob's the guy. Never mind about Malibu Bob. Don't need Malibu to get pissed Bob. off at me. I'm just talking well, nice. You don't start to bring up Malibu Bob in my show. <sighs> Nazi guy. I swear to God. <laughs> no, I, I don't know too much about it because it's the beginning for me. But, I, but I'm. Well, I'm going to help you. Is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm going to help you. I got some Tweeties here. Oh, good. And then and, and some people have asked asked me questions on the Tweety. <laughs> oh. Boy, oh boy. What Did I you do? talk to him yet? No, I don't talk to dummies. <laughs> How hey, are you? Don. Hey. <laughs> hey, look, I'm a big fan of your earlier work. Thanks. Before the talkies, I mean. <laughs> God, God bless you. Um, yeah, yeah, be careful with him. He's, he's, he's spiteful. He doesn't have the no, warmth you guy. Yeah. You, you got to to dress up like that. You need the job. I mean, God, <laughs> God bless you. You're very good in this. You really, you really you, are. Thank you, sir. You're a legend. I loved you in Toy Story. Oh, I'm thinking of Tom Hanks. <laughs> That's two he got off, and I'm starting to get a little I'm starting to get a little off. I unplugged. I I've been nice, but the man's trying to make no, no, his no, no, turn right. on me. No, you're right. You were being nice. He was being antagonistic. I can have him unplugged. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, leave did, him alone. Did Frank ever say that to you? I can have him unplugged? Frank who? You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Frank Sinatra, rest of the he was, he was the best. He, you, you brought him in uh, that I adored. He, he was great. And, and if he were here tonight, he would break him up. Yeah, he would. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I know that. No, he, Sinatra was... Somebody special, and I. In fact, I'm going to work with his uh, with his son, which I'm looking for Frank Jr. Oh, yeah? with, with his orchestra and so forth, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, what are you going to be? Are you going to be singing? No, no, I'm going to be tap dancing in the hall. <laughs> Man, it was a perfectly legitimate question. Well, what a dumb thing! Well, what the singing. hell is wrong with you? I was asking you a, a perfectly legitimate question. Don't, don't, don't steam me, Craig. Oh. Don't steam me. <laughs> Why would I get out there? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a comedian, supposed supposedly. I, I, I'm not a I'm not a singer. I do music and so forth. But uh, working with uh, his, his son is, is going to be a big kick for me. Oh, you must have known him since he was very small. Oh, yeah, I knew him. Well, he was kidnapped once. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Was and that you? No, you know what? Uh -huh. <laughs> if it was me, you'd see me now. I'm like, mm. <laughs> you, know, you know why they let him go? Why? They heard him humming in the trunk. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that's a deep story. The kid was in the trunk yeah, and they yeah, couldn't find him. And then about it. Hey, don't vote on this stuff. Don't vote on it. No, not vote. All right, here's another Tweety. Uh, the here. old man knew about that, see? What? I don't know who you are, but you're an old man. Anyway, uh... No, how old a man are you? 62. What? 62. 62? Go to a rest home for... <laughs> He's 62. These people are Look at him, he's sitting there enjoying himself. Is that the wife? No. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Hey, hey, there's one. This is from Oscar in McKinney in Texas, all right? You ready? Sure. Dear Craig and Don and Jeff, I recently started dyeing my hair to combat a few greys. Everyone says it is noticeable. Should I stop? Do you ever dye your hair? Never. Why not? Because I'm handsome. What do I have to dye my hair yeah. for? <laughs> hey, here's your answer. All right, this is from Mark in Fort Lauderdale. You spent a lot of time down in Florida there? Have you been down there? Hey, that's what, when, when God says it's time up, that's where a Jew goes. <laughs> <laughs> he sits up in heaven going, Irving, Fort Lauderdale, come on! <laughs> You don't know about that. Don't I worry. do know about that. I've been Miami Beach. That's where my mother, rest of the souls, used to sit on, sit on, sit on the boardwalk and say, "Look at the sun. Look at the sky. Look at the sun." And then, and she'd say, "Where's my check?" Anyway, uh, no, she was a great lady. I brought that up just to keep her name alive. Anyway, you ready for another one? Here's one from Louisville, Kentucky. 
Louisville. Have you ever been to Louisville? Yeah. Do you know how to say it properly? You don't say it Louisville, you say it Louisville. No, you know what you're saying in Louisville? What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff and Doc. Wait a minute, that's a clever remark. Who else would say something like that? Here's one. No, this is a good one. This is a good one for you. You're, no, I mean this with all respect. You're a slightly older gentleman, so you have some advice here. Okay. Right? Okay. It's from a young lady. She says, my younger sister is seeing a guy who doesn't run with the right crowd. How do I kindly tell her to find a nicer guy? Should she run with the bad crowd, the, the young lady, or? No, if she's a hooker, she can run with a bad crowd. <laughs> if she's CBS a cast. <laughs> I think that's fine, isn't it? That's a reasonable answer. If she's a hooker, she can run with a bat. That's right. What else is there, for crying out loud? Yeah, exactly. All right, here's another one. Dear really Craig getting you. on my nerves. Yeah. Really yeah. getting on my nerves. My girlfriend saw a few texts from an ex that were rather inappropriate. Oh, you wouldn't understand this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Yeah, you know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, uh, you just give me a, a hard time about that. All right, dear uh, Craig and Jeff and guest. Uh, oh. oh, well, there you are. I'm 29 and running for local office. My parents have said that I can't count on their vote. How big of an insult is this? Well, I would say go in your room, put the covers over your head, and have a game. <laughs> the hell do I know with these questions? My well, I'm just I'm, I'm trying to, because people are going to ask you stuff on the TV. Is this a parade? Yeah, what, yeah, what's yeah, going on here? Every I, no, I think it's great, though, that people... That, <laughs> the, tweet, the tweet is a good thing because it gives people a chance to, to let out and vent and talk about things. And, it, and it's a great thing to do. And that's where I'm going to give it up. <laughs> Don't you want, I think you should get a, a lot of, how many followers have you got already? I think 25,000. 25, 25,000 yeah. already? You're just like you've been on like I, Well, I just started. I just really started. Yeah, yeah, well, I think. And, and you see the response. Thanks for wishing me luck. Yeah. yeah. I said, I, I said 25,000, and, and this whole section went. <laughs> well, you know, they're a little scared of you. You've been picking on Why are you them. scared? I'm a friend. Look at, look at them all. You, you came in, you stood out in line like you want to see a big thing. You stood out there all day long. Get jobs. Do work. Do something. <laughs> this kid, I love the way they dress up. This is real California. The kid down, down the aisle there with the sandals, with the, with the, with the, with the, Jesus, with the Jesus shoes and the, and the Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Look at this guy. And the white pants. Uh, uh, all right. Can you just leave it? That's enough. Don, don, Come in again go. when you think it's trick or treat. Yeah. Come in again. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta do Don Rickles, everybody. Uh. We'll See ya. Over here, buddy. Over here. Over oh. here. <laughs> what are you staring at them for? No, they, they were so sweet to, to stand up. I guess, I guess the underwear stuck. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, really. Uh, when you get older, you know, and you get that kind of reception, you, you want to walk away and say, why am I with him? Yeah. I mean, what no, the hell, we've been, we've been friends all... It's good to see you. It's way. lovely to see you. Uh, we got that out of the okay, way. Okay, good, yeah. <laughs> you good? Oh, look, at, look at that. Filipinos. <laughs> are, you, are you Filipinos? Oh, God, two and a half years. Two and a half years looking for your uncle. <laughs> Navy. World War II. Big one. Big one. <laughs> Cebu. Takloban. Lingayan Gulf. Mindanao. I was there. All, all, all... I'll be with you in a minute. All right. <laughs> All trees, all jungle, now big cities, wonderful. We went up to Manila, and MacArthur's still sitting there going, am I dead? God bless you, great country. I'm not going back there. No, 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 no. Would you, what, what the hell is this, a parade? What happened? No, it, it, well, I was doing the emails. This is kind of a thing we do. People send in their problems. I answer them. I'm helpful. I'm a helpful guy. I'm like Dr. Phil. <laughs> 
what? Well, Dr. Phil's a very clever guy. He really is. What? He is. He really is. Really? You think he's, he's got a problem? He's on the air. <laughs> That's a joke, Dr. Phil, if you're watching. He don't watch this. It hit the lights. No, no, no. He, he does. He watches. You know who loves this show? Oh. Michelle. Why do you do that? You're cutting wood? Uh, no, you're not. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> Clever son yeah. of a yeah. Yeah. He taught well. me everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know who loves this show? Who? Michelle Obama. Really? No, I made it up. But <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't do jokes about the president. He'll get moody and come over the house. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what I've been doing? I've been following you on Twitter. You're on Twitter. Today. Yeah, and my wife got me on this thing. You know, you write these little da 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 She said it gives you that. That's why she talks. Gives you something to do. You know. Because <laughs> she's in the other room going. <laughs> <laughs> shining jewelry all the time. That's what Jews do. They, when they don't work. They just shine. <laughs> hey, I'm a Jew. Don't turn on me for <laughs> sake. Your Christmas is coming up. We're very excited. We have Hanukkah, you have Christmas, and, and we got it made because we don't have to bother with a tree. You don't have a Hanukkah bush in the house? What's wrong with you? Well, the wife. We put some decorations on her and hoist her for crying. <laughs> no, Hanukkah, it's all the same. It really, Bob Newhart's my dear friend, you know. Right. So we go to his house every, hey, you know, the, the seating here is great. I, I'm going to wind up. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll come around to the next No, no, I don't, I, I don't know what you got. Anyway, uh... We got a little bit of... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, lady, we're going to take the left bust. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, it, it, it's true. We, we have a great time with Bob and uh, with his family and Jenny, you know. But my kids, my grandchildren, we all get together and we sit and then Bob reads the book, you know, and blah, 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 and we sit there like we're enjoying, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bob reads uh, the Torah? No, no, Bob doesn't. Bob's still saying Lachayim. <laughs> anyway, uh, see, you Gentiles, it's Lachayim, but he can't get that out. It's Lachayim, and I told him that's a ranch in Mexico. <laughs> I, hey, I learned a good Don't Yiddish. call me hey, I'm not no, a no, horse, no, 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 I'm a person. I, I gotta talk. I, I learned hey, a, hey, who no, says hey? No, 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 I learned a good Yiddish word. Here my, here's my Yiddish word, you ready? Yeah. Mishpucha. You've yeah. got it right. Yeah, yeah. A Scotchman saying mishpucha. Well, yeah, because Scottish people have a lot of going on. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> Sitting around borrowing money from the Jews. That's right. <laughs> well, Scottish people and Jews, they're kind of mishpucha. There. Yeah. I even used it right, didn't I? What is this, the Israeli hour? Yeah, what is that? Right Let's talk about the Irish. You're an Irishman, right, sir? The guy in the second row behind the Filipinos. You're an Irishman. What are you? German. Get a rope. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the one that turns against you earlier on. No, those days are over, right? <laughs> By the way, by the way, you sir, I don't know, what's your first name? Go My foot, Don. <laughs> I was in World War II. I never, one of you guys said, my name is Don. <laughs> no, I'm kidding you, Don, really. But there's a, a military channel. It tells all about the war, you know, World War II. A lot of good stuff about uh, Germany and what happened and so forth, you know? <laughs> Snap out of it, huh? <laughs> I'm talking to a dummy. I think you're making the gentleman a little uncomfortable, you know, I mean, I... Uh... Get over it, go home! No, no. <laughs> All right, hang, uh, hang on, hang on a little more this. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, hey, 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 to all of you, on behalf of this wonderful gentleman, we've been friends now, is it seven years? Ooh, friends? at least, yeah. And, oh, he had a, a baby, and we, we became friends, and, and it's nice. We, I went to his home, you should see his home, you know, Looney Tunes, his home is... <laughs> When he came to my house tell for the him, first time, him, he, he gave me five bucks at the front door and he said, Here, here's five bucks. Buy yourself a decent house. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I think I'm in love. <laughs> hey, anyone gives me five bucks, I'm interested. Do you know what I'm saying? He's got a lovely wife. And, and the place, I, I, with steps, I, I, steps put me away, you know. As you get older, steps bother you. My wife says, Stop talking about AIDS. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You know, because she figures if I go, <laughs> you know, then she's got to give up the house and work the streets. You know. <laughs> now, God, no, that's not funny. No, you know, no, you I, shouldn't I, talk yeah. about death. You know, I don't feel good. 
No, I feel fine. But yeah, yeah, you're get right. older and never feel, never feel as you're all young people predominantly. As I look at the audience, always, and you know that too. Well, always remember, as long as this working good, you got, you got beyond life. Is this works? Well, well, well yeah, there is that. There's, there's a few other areas you want to keep going as well. well. But, uh, I'm just well, saying. No, you're, you're talking about popping the wife. Don't bring no. that up. Do a classy show here, Mister. That's not the kind of talk that we. Why not? It's it's normal. Not with you. You walk on your rope, stand by the toilet. And go, ah! Anyway. <laughs> we do it normally. Yeah, all right, all right. She lays on the bed, and I go. Nah. <laughs> no, when you're married, you know you're married. How long are you married now? Uh, three years. Ah, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, three. Hell. Why, I'm not putting it down. Okay. I think it's wonderful. Well, I met your wife. She's great. She's By nice. the way, uh, the check didn't come. Sorry, man. I'll get <laughs> I'm talking about something else, but we won't go into that. Anyway, but he, he, he's married to a lovely wife. The whole secret, and I tell you that, 46 years married. Now, I'm telling you, 46, this is beautiful. You know, that's great. No, no, ha, ha, ha. But if you're going to base a whole marriage on, you've got trouble. You've got to do what I do. Take your mind off it and then go. We'll <coughs> be right back with Don Reckles, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with a newcomer to show business, Don Rickles. He's a star now. Where are you playing there? Do you remember your first gig in show business? Yeah. Look how quiet it got. Yeah, I know. It wasn't a cemetery, I'll tell you that. Yeah. No, my first job was a place called the... Well, it's not the first job, but when you go back, I, I remember it called the Sawdust Trail in New York. Yeah? Right on Broadway. No, 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 no doors, no windows, just wide open. And when the wind came up, the papers came on the stage. Anyway, it's the truth. And dirt came up and everything. And I stood by a piano, and I had no act, and the guys just sat like that, you know. And some of them had, you know, the major thing with the bird looking around, you know. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait, no, 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 you lost. If I'm going too fast, no, you're going too fast. You're going too fast. What's the major thing with the bird looking around? I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand. Well, I'll walk you backstage while you get a look at the bird. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's moody today. Really. <laughs> you know, when you're married a lot, you know, and you get older, you get up in the morning, you got the pajamas, you say, and she says, sweetheart, and you go, and you look down and you go. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in there taking a nap. Anyway. Uh... Hey, I'm too fast. I'm sorry. I'm too fast. No, but that, that, that's the point. The point is, we're talking about... So guys were wearing their pajamas no. and their penises were hanging out? Shut up. For the money I'm getting, I'm a riot. Okay. That's right. <laughs> you and me both, killer. You and me both. He's talking like I gotta, like I, I gotta do good here, for crying no, out. No, you don't have to do good. Let's all go over to Ralph Market so and watch a fly die on the fruit. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I ever seen. <laughs> See, sometimes comedians have to laugh at what they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, a great star. He just left the, the, the show previous. Robin uh, Williams. Robin beautiful, Williams. Beautiful yeah, he was here last night, yeah. He's a wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with charm and fun. But, and there's so many young people today that are, that are coming up, and it's, it's great to see it. Really a lot is. of good young comics. Yeah, yeah, and unfortunately, they're here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I get to see them, and they get disillusioned nice and early in their careers, and that's what works out for them. They get to see what a dark, desperate little room looks like. No, they don't. They get a big shot when they get over here, really. This doesn't do much for me. Where am I going with you? Uh, I'm, we're both, hey, we're both going to work in the same place in Florida. What's that? Uh, no. <laughs> What's the name of the place? Uh, uh, Hard Rock. Hard, Hard Rock Casino. Yeah, yeah, Hard Rock he Casino. Goes, he goes t tomorrow. He'll, he'll be I'll there be Sunday. Sunday, 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 night. Sunday night. And I go the following week. I'll be there. And it, 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 it works out that way. And so don't suck up all the laughs, okay? Yeah. But it's, it's kind of fun. I'm going to be following you. Yeah, yeah. I'll you don't, and I asked you. I said, he's so wealthy. I said, don't you take a private jet? He says, no, Don. I, I go commercially. But with your money, come on. My money? What, what kind of private jet am I going to take? I'm oh, a World please. War II bomber. That's what I'm going to take. And I'm going to be with the goggles on, sitting with the oxygen mask. You and get to sit in the machine gun, Don. Well done. <laughs> I just asked you a question about a play. <laughs> Got in the 
machine gun. Da, 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 machine gun. Oh, the German guy. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, nobody, nobody realizes well, how many shows and sketches you did in your career before you did this. Oh, yeah, I did them all over. You did, you did. I, yeah. How did you in Scotland? How, how, really? What was what was your first big job? Well, I used to. Well, play well, oh, you played a horse. Yeah, I played a horse. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do the, the sawdust room. It was right there. I right, don't be a smart. You know, I'm just yeah. sad. No, what did you do, really? What, what? I used to play in bars. I used to. The, yeah, me too. That's yeah, what I did. Yeah, and and uh, I, got, I got off the trail with the sawdust, but it wasn't pleasant. It was it was tough. See, th today the young kids they got comedy clubs, which yeah. is great. In my day, in his day, we, we had to work and forget about it. You know, guy sitting in the front. Oh, when's he going to get funny, Rose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they always they did, did that this. thing, that, yeah. That, yeah that, that. Was, that was instead of applause. <laughs> hey, you do it right, it makes the same noise. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. I never dreamed you would top me. Yeah. I'm not topping you. I'm no, you can't. That's Join why me. we're comedians. We're, we're not rivals. <laughs> yeah. No, that's it. And I'll tell you what I'll do. When I do the Hard Rock Cafe in Florida, uh, the casino now, yeah. I'll leave you a little present in the dressing room. Yeah. A, like a bomb. <laughs> yeah, kind of no, like, no, like, like a bomb. No, you're, <laughs> no, you're, you're sweet. It, it, it's wonderful that we can go out in casinos for both of us, and for you young people, really, and the elders, too. Casinos, the, the Indians are great. I, I work all. I, I worked the Orleans just recently for... Tommy Jenkins. No, in, in Vegas and around the country. It's all casinos. And the Indians come into the lobby. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know, you wash their horse and they kiss your... You know. Anyway. Uh. It's sad, though. It's sad because, you know, before the white man came, there was casinos all across America. <laughs> wow. So what was your first job in show business then, dog? <laughs> My first, I told you that. No, yeah, no, I can't remember that. It's so far back. But you know what? I did, see, what I do, I don't do particularly jokes. I do attitude. You know, like this man in the front, right? I'll tell you the truth. I don't like you. <laughs> now, that's not a joke. It's the way I said it to you, right, sir? I wasn't mean. I wasn't vicious. As the wife held on to him. What are you holding on? Look at him. Woman's holding on like he's going to go. <laughs> He's got years. <laughs> yeah. What is your name, sir? Doug. Are you Jewish? No. Well, how'd you get those seats? <laughs> You're Jewish? I am. Oh, get up and give her that seat. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, hey. We, we, we're out of What's time. Hey, 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 again we're, with the hey, hey, hey. We're out of time. I'm just trying to be... Out of time? Yeah. I didn't have to travel from my estate to be out of time, for crying out loud. I've been to state in Beverly Hills and I had a schlep here to be do five minutes with a dummy when the show's over already, for crying out loud. These people love me and I want to get a better job. is one of the greatest comedians of all time. One of them. <laughs> He's uh, appearing June the 21st at the Seminole Hard Rock uh, in uh, Hollywood, Florida, and then at June the 23rd at the Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Please welcome the man, the myth, the legend that is the great Don Rickles, everybody! <laughs> That was sensational. You're never going to talk. Up. Oh, come on. What's happening? Don't start already. I just want to just say, you people were delightful. I mean, I work all over the country. When you come here, you great audience. I mean, you make a guy feel real home. Great. Except in the front row, there's always somebody in the front row. It's always like, eh, show. 
but you're, you're delightful. You really are. And to make this man, this man, who has skyrocketed in this business with horse tricks. <laughs> it's not a trick. It's an actual horse. It comes out. It moves around. And people love that animal acts. Come on, you must have appeared. No on need that. to get pissed off. I'm not. <laughs> Stop. I'm just don't be mean to animals. No. That's what I'm saying. That's a lot. Charlie Hotshot over there. Charlie Hotshot. Yeah, yeah. Peterson. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's good. He's got a job to do. He stands behind that stupid dummy. And you people enjoy it. <laughs> Here's the good news. What? I didn't just get a colonoscopy. I also got the endoscope. It went in the other way too. Yeah. I had the full. I had the full thing. Yeah. Well, you know the way you drank, you should be dead. Yes. <laughs> I read your book. I know what you did. Really? You read, you read my book? What is this? I gotta repeat everything, everything I say? I'm just, I, I'm I, I'm just, I read my book. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm touched. I'm moved that well, you sure read sure I read your book. That's why I'm on here, because I know it's over. Anyway. <laughs> no, he had a tough life. He did. He did. He came to America, yeah. smacked a couple of Jewish people, and you skyrocketed. Anyway. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does schmackle mean? I'm not, I'm not mishpucha. Well, what is the, what is, what is well, you sh better start learning, otherwise they're going to move the desk. <laughs> <laughs> schmackle <laughs> means, you know, make a fuss over, make a fuss, you know. Yeah. That's it. The guy in the yellow shirt, you, in, the, in the green shirt, you were very good, sir. Yeah, he was. He's pretty yeah, good. good yeah, yeah. Where are you from again? Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte, yeah. Seemed to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I, like think, I think a lot of his sense of fun is in the shirt, no, to be fair. No, he's a charming gentleman. I make fun of you because, you know, if New Year's Eve came around and it was you and I in the room, I'd be depressed. <laughs> but you're a nice gentleman. Good luck. Is that the wife? Ooh. I'll tell you this. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. You're a pretty woman. Hey! Oh, I gotta, hey! Oh, I gotta, he kisses. You can't do that. No, she understands. How long are you married? 37 years. Is he a mute? Yep. <laughs> 37 years. God bless you. I'm married 47. Jewish boy. Just... Yeah. Hey, hey. Why did they applaud? You never saw her. Hey, hey. You Why wouldn't you her? talk to me? I don't see you for Because ages. I'm going no place with you. For well, come on. Come and talk to me. You talk to everyone. You right, talk I to wanna, the guy I in the green shirt. You, I want to... I, I got to level with you. You're married now a long time. I was at your house. I was at his house once. You have a new house now. Yeah, I got a new house. Yeah, and uh, you don't have to climb the stairs to get in. No, anymore. and uh, 48 steps. It's called Heart Attack City. His house. <laughs> when I went the, the first point, and and you still polishing the nails like you do? Yeah, I still polish my it, nails. It puts yeah. nail polish on the feet. You know? <laughs> no, no, I'm not making this up. And that's why I did what you did. I went. <laughs> yeah. You know why I do that? Because I'm not your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do. I, 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 don't you polish your toenails? No. <laughs> when you find me skipping in the park, you'll know. <laughs> I don't know. I like, I like seeing my feet looking pretty. Yeah, I, I know. Pretty I, know. Feet. I never suspected you for that, you know. Well, having pretty feet? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you, you had a tough life. You really did. Nobody did. talks about that. But God bless you, you came along. I'm, I'm a serious now. You came a long well, way. You, from, you didn't come from, you know, you didn't come from, your background was never, you know, like in, in, in England now. Hell, Mommy, Daddy's home. You know, yeah, no, never, I no, that's the way they do it all the time. You know, Mommy, the war's on. Daddy, the war's on. <laughs> mommy, the fighter plane is going down. <laughs> <laughs> See? Guys in the army, especially they were Jewish, going, fire, fire, quack, fire, right. I got a gun, I'm going home. <laughs> that was one of my biggest jokes. Yeah, yeah. You see, no, I'm, I'm just, are you Hawaiian? You're very pretty. Are you Hawaiian? No, when I go like this, what, your bus bother you? <laughs> are you Hawaiian? I'm what is your, What is your background? What is you? I'm mixed. You're mixed. Your father was a sailor? <laughs> mixed. Mix I, I, I think Wait, let her finish. Well, gee, I, 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 I would let her finish, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy horny hey. He, by the way, he's married to a very beautiful lady. Very he really beautiful. is. God bless her. Yeah. She paints her toenails, too. You don't seem to have a problem with her doing it. <laughs> Shut up. All right. <laughs> hey, well, wait a minute. I'm not through with you. I want to, one other thing. You said you're Mexican. No, mixed. 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 And, and, and where do you live? Okay, yeah. so, you know, oh, oh, you are Mexican. <laughs> see? <laughs> see, I go, I'm getting it now. Yeah. I'm getting it now. Yeah. 
I mean, kids about uh, kid about Jews, kid about Mexican, kid about black. You kill about kid about everything in life. That's what it is today. You you said this, you said that. You got to be able to be honest and not be a mean spirited or unkind. I say from my heart, really. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> We're right back. <laughs> Trouble. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, we're back. Yeah, yeah. I was just I was letting them know that you know, tone it down a little. <laughs> he didn't say that. They God. just he's just covering his own, you know. But I, I I gotta say this. There's a lot of shows on the air, and since I've known you, really, you've always been a kind of guy that you you don't stand and rave and look for applause. You you're just a, a down earth guy. I really mean that. And, I, and I'm very delighted to always to be on your show. I mean that sincerely. Well, I, it's I, it's I, always a pleasure to have you because you're so. No, it's it, thanks, though, because you are you're always so nice to the audience. Thank you. Pardon, uh, me, pardon, me. <laughs> pardon me. I this is you always like to have a little little diet coke. <laughs> Wife's not here, so. <laughs> That's, that's not Diet Coke. Mm. I mean, I, I, I haven't had any in 20 years, but I still got a nose for it, man. Maybe I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe like, mm. Yeah, and I got news. That, that was quite a thing in those days. And look, and look how you came back. You came back, and now you're a millionaire, and you go every night. They don't know this. <laughs> no, that's not true. He beat a big problem, and thank God you're, you're a big star now, and you'll never see me again. <laughs> You know, sometimes, buddy, you confuse me. You know, you, you kind of slap me, and then you tickle me, and then you slap me, and then you tickle me. And I find myself kind of... I'm a sort of a rabbi. Uh, no, that, no, I tell people they're good things, and then you bring out their bad, but then you, you coat them with good things. And I, and I coach that's, you... That's what rabbis do. <laughs> You'll never find out. Anyway, when you become a Jew, I kill myself. Hey, um, let me ask you a question. Sure. You know, when I, I normally when I uh, when I wrap this thing up, I have uh, you oh, know, it's time to move. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, but I, I don't want to be. I, I want to offer you the 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 option of going for the big cash. Don't come up with the harmonica and the money and all that crap. I don't need that for quite a lot. You, you, you go on Jimmy Fountain, win three weeks at a ping pong tournament. I don't need that. I don't need all whoa, of that. Whoa, whoa. Fountain's <laughs> giving away ping pong tournaments. <laughs> That's what he does. How can I compete with that? <laughs> you'll never hear a Scotchman. You don't know. Don't uh, give me the money or the thing, and don't say the one question or that's just, to me. Just give you the money? Uh, no, I don't need the money because I know what I'm getting here, and I'll be back. Anyway, uh, this oh, well, is you're... this is what we call a mercy visit. You understand? Know <laughs> well, can I can I offer you a memento of your trip? That's better. You know what you can offer me? What? Nice bottle of vodka, and I'll go home early. How about that? <laughs> I don't need your or... harmonica, I don't need your, your fake phony money that you hand out and all that baloney. I don't need that. It's not fake money, man. Well, I don't care. Money. Well, you, you use it as a good ending because you can't think of anything funny. It'll take. Wait, 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 wait. wait. He knows that he came alive. Hey, that. Hey, What's your name, by the way? What's your name? Uh, I'm Jeff. Really? And, uh, we really have to have Ed Asner back on the show again. <laughs> Ed Asner, what does that mean? He's been, a, he's been an idiot. I don't care. I don't care. What does that mean? I think, he's, I think he's implying you might look a little bit like Ed Asner. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see this? Well, was it trick or treat? Yeah, okay. It's a picture of Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I wore the wrong underwear. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That that's was it. great. She's my age. Is she? She's 86 years old. Are you 86? Would you? I'm 86, 86 years old. 86 years old. Man. May 8th, 1926. Besides the Her Majesty, yeah. uh, Harry Truman, who I adored, a great president. You kids weren't born then, but he was a great president and a nice man, too. You know. I wouldn't know. Did, did you know any president, American president? Yeah, I did the White House Correspondents Dinner when uh, uh, George W. Bush oh, was Oh, you did? did you? Yeah. And my claim to fame was, which was a delightful night, I did the inaugural at Ronald Reagan Rest of Soul. I did the inaugural for Ronald Reagan, and it, it was a great night. It really was. Yeah. And then I did the, all those, you know, those roasts they have on television today with Dean Martin, Rest of Soul, and, and again with, when he was governor. So I've been around, and yeah. I got two traffic tickets, and uh, 
one for touching a girl on the subway. <laughs> anyway, uh, I no, think that's, we all learned that's, something. That's, that's, Don Rickles, everybody. <laughs> Thing. My first guest tonight, what is he, Jeff? Oh, he's a legend. He's a legend, all right. He's one of the all-time great comedians. He's performing March 29th at the Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. Oh, yeah. We've played that, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. And the... Uh, <laughs> it is. It is. I know that one. It's very... Whoa. And the... Uh, uh, April the 13th and 14th, he'll be at the Orleans in Las Vegas. That's a good one. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody! That's enough. You okay. get them all big-headed before we start, and it's going to be crazy. How you doing, Don? Wait a minute. I'm talking to the audience. What? The applause was... I thought it was pretty Next good. Time, I'm not talking to you. Okay, okay. Next time, throw the clothes in the air, okay? No, you were very sweet and very kind, really. And I said, sweetie, uh, give me that big applause because I'm not staying long. Okay. Got to talk to Scotland here and hope it goes over. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting right here, man. I Why can you, hear you. I can you hear yelling? you. You're yelling. I was in the back, everything with you. It's the doctor. You're going crazy. Well, I'm scared. Well, get abroad and go home early. <laughs> he's, he's married with a kid, but he don't know it. Anyway. Two, two kids. You have two kids? Two kids, oh. yes. Yeah, since the last time I saw you, there's been another one. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah. Do you, wear, just, huh? do you wear the pajamas? Do I wear the kitty pajamas? No, you wear the regular long, long pants pajamas. Uh, yeah. And then you do the... And then you do the parachute trick, right? No, what's the parachute trick? I mean, I've got one breast larger well, than the other, but what's the... You couldn't handle it. Jews only do it. You couldn't handle it. Right? So, is, is it something to do with... Shut up. Oh, okay, yeah, come on! Why with this? Why? Get, with... Getting on my nerves. I don't know well, why, why I'm I getting here? on your nerves. I'm just trying to be nice. Look at the audience here. Look at the kid in the front. The dummy, he's sitting there going... <laughs> They don't know what's going on, for crying out loud. If they knew what's going on, they wouldn't be here, would they? they? <laughs> nah, you're a good guy. You're all right. All those other guys are having trouble in New York. Everybody switching shows. You're going to be here in spite of what the people say. <laughs> nah, no, I'm, I'm glad. Your, your career in a new theater, it's great. I wish you luck. It's nice in here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it's, I mean, it's fancy. Made to fix your dress, huh? Anyway, uh... What's wrong the, with the dress? The one, the one over there, the one that has the dress up where she's smiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding you. She didn't yeah. even know I'm talking to you. You're very stunning. <laughs> don't, don't judge the lady in the, uh, in the audience. That's what? not right. This is Germany. Hitler's dead. What? Why? why? <laughs> I can do whatever I want. For well, yeah, There's a Jewish kid. I said Hitler, and his glasses fogged up. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that kid there. Look. You know, the one with the nose sucking up the rug. Hey! Hey! Now, come on, now. We've moved on. What are you begging me? I know what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. a Jew. You're, what, what are you? You're a Piscopi What are you? What the hell are you? Sco uh, you're Scottish. I see. I, uh, I asked him a question, and he panicked. Um, 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 um. <laughs> I don't I'm think it's fair. Scottish, Scottish, Scottish. Yeah. I don't think it's fair to say that I panicked. I just, you know, I was trying to present you with the information which was accurate. Oh, really? It? Yes. <laughs> Mom and Dad are going hunting Friday. <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, it's your turn. All right. Uh, <laughs> I got to do the questions and the answers for crying out loud. You seem to be quite happy doing it. I, that, I'm just letting you get on with it. That's all. I, the Orleans, you're going back to the Orleans. That's a great place. Oh, it's a great, that's, great, that's great. fantastic, that stage well, it's, there. It's Vegas. You know, Vegas is the, what it's all about. Do you know you're the record breaker in Vegas now? You're the, Am I? Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> I get the feeling I'm talking to a waiter. <laughs> if this late night war continues the way it's going, you might well be talking to a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> God love you, God love you. Uh, yeah. Can I just tell you about our... 
Can I just tell you about no, you, our you specials turned, today? You, you, yeah, turned that's <laughs> you turned on me. Now you're trying to cover it up, but you turned no, on me. No, I did not. Got a little nasty, a little turned on me. I did not you know? turn on you. No, it's okay. I, 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 it for I you. can handle it. Jew, shoot him. Hey. Hell. <laughs> turned on me. What were you going to say? I, I was going to tell you about our specials. I think that's what I was going to do. <laughs> I, I can't remember. The, and also the Wild Horse Pass Casino, that's, that's a good one. It is, it is. I've been there. It's really good. I have been there, I swear. It's really good. Do you have a good doctor? Uh, he's frightened no, to say penis. I know the Wild Horse Casino. I worked there. I worked in every, you know, and it's, we're lucky. You work there too. It's all Indians. God bless them, really. They, you come up to the hotel and they go, you okay, I know, okay, well, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and you go to your room, you wash their pony, and you go to bed. So I just heard they canceled the White Horse Pass Casino game. <laughs> Here's your pass. Yeah, come on. Come on. Pass this. Remember that in New York? Anybody from New York? Yeah. No wonder. <laughs> no, you're no, not. Wonder. no, you're not. No wonder it's quiet. <laughs> two, two, two cockamamie Italians in the back. Where, where, where are God bless you. Be from New York. I'm a, I was originally there and I moved here. I got a big house now with hunting dogs and a Jewish wife that runs and cleans the lawn. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Oh, we're doing good now. Yeah, yeah but again with the weight. Oh, stop with this crap. It's, uh, it's body language. I'm trying to remain open to your. No, I was at your house. You don't have to make open to me. I moved house. I moved house. Did you really? I moved house. Remember, you were at my house and you didn't the let step, you. No, the steps was killing me. Well, yeah. I moved to a place with. No, he, he had me invited, invited to his house, and I'm not a kid anymore. And going upstairs is not easy. And he has on each floor a doctor saying, "Come on, try to reach the medicine." Anyway. Uh, <laughs> What can I tell you? I know how to throw a party, but the uh, but the new house you can just you can just walk right in. Not you, but the you you can you just walk right in. You can drive right up, walk right in. Really? Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. Come to the new one. You'll yeah, be fine. You wait, you wait for me. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you come in my house? Because I'm too big. I don't come, need your oh, come house. on, man. You come to my house. You and Barbara come in my house. Everybody thinks I'm doing well in show business. You mm. come to my house. I came to your house when you had that funny outfit on and playing trick or treat with the maid. I remember that. That's not. That's not me. That's Schwarzenegger. That's not me. That's the other. <coughs> Isn't it great? He got off one good one. Listen, uh, we have to go to a uh, commercial break. Do whatever you want. I'm, I'm leaving. Anyway. No, you, no, you can't. No, you, in two segments. Two segments. Oh, two, you agree? Two, what a two, two segments. segments. Okay, two segments. Well, look at the old, the old people over there. <laughs> Get something for the old lady. She's starting to go. <laughs> when they start wheezing and leaving their mouth open, it's trouble. <laughs> I, th I think she's just excited. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Don Rickles, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. I'm here with uh, Don Rickles. Now listen, uh, I got I got here, Don. Uh, I have photographs that were uh, of you. Look at that. You, there's you right there. Look at you. Look how adorable you yeah. are. Look at that. That's that's my wife, and that's yeah. Lee Liberace, a great friend of his. And he was hey, one. I never I never met Liberace, but I went to his museum. Did you? Yeah, it's got a lot of his stuff in there. I think that he m might have been gay. have a career and you can go on by yourself. All right. Now, here's another one. I like this one. Look at that. This is uh, this is you with uh, well, yeah, that's Bob Dylan right That's there, right. That's right. right. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, right? Bruce the man. Were you guys in a band uh, together? <laughs> you know something? What? I'm getting ready to slap uh, him. See, <laughs> like, this is always the same. You, always yeah, with a smart remark. My word, man. Bruce Springsteen, by the way, is a great performer and this gentleman, of course, is a great artist. That's, that's well, a long time ago when we all had a couple of vodkas and Told each other how great we were. <laughs> yeah. Drinking great. with uh, with Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, well, he's from Jersey. Bob he doesn't know what time it is unless you give him a drink. For <laughs> Puts on the gloves. America, America. Where does he think we're living in Spain? We know where the hell we <laughs> Keeps yelling America, America. You know. He's got other songs, man. Give him a break. He's an American legend. 
What are you, a, a war veteran? I was in the service. Were you? I, <laughs> you weren't in this sir. I was in there saving your canary. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in World War II. <laughs> I know. That's true. That's true. Those, those, those pictures they don't show. Two and a half years in the USS Cyrene in the Philippines. And the Japanese came over to me and said, Oh, my children need toys. <laughs> anyway, uh, two years in the jungle so this guy can have a show. Hey! Hey, two come years. on! And I said, I do jokes. I did. I said, I'm an entertainer. And the guy went, Entertainer? I'd like sir, to be in special service. Special service. Okay. And I'd like to do some comedy and have a band, or a comedy and a band. Okay. Next thing you know, I'm in the Philippines and the guy says, keep firing. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that really true? I swear to God, I was on a, a, a 20 millimeter gun. Like you, you younger guys, if you know the service, you know, it'd come in little cases and I had to put it, boom, in the gun. You know, Jewish kid, we don't do that. We had a, a maid go, lift that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> you gotta give me a, a minute. I, I said something that made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about that, huh? Made yourself laugh. Oh, geez, Look at you, Mr. Professional. That's right. <laughs> Every night before the show in Vegas, I sit up in my room and I laugh my ass off. <laughs> no, so I had a 20 millimeter gun, and the guy said, This is where you do it. You put it in a casing, and when the Japanese fly, you know, bum, 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 you know. And I said, I, Captain, I don't do that. He said, no, no, no. Just, just what I tell you. And every time the plane's gone, I was going, bah, 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 bah. and then I put the casing down and said, can I get in show business? I want to be in show business. <laughs> and they kept attacking. They kept attacking. <laughs> no, but they're wonderful people today, and it was, it was a great experience. You, you were in Scotland inside your mother. Anyway, uh... <laughs> there no been an email segment on yeah, the show tonight. Go on, let's go on. Let me tell you why, because it gives more time to my first guest, that's why, who is a legend, an American comedy legend. He will be performing at the October the 11th and, the, and October the 12th, two days right next to each other, at the Orleans in Las Vegas, and November the 21st at the Wild Horse Purse Pass <laughs> Casino. And really, do I have to do all these damn dates? <laughs> The Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. We played that. That's a good one. That's, That's a, a good, good one. one. Yeah. yeah. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles. <laughs> Paramedics. Uh, you're all right. What's going on? I've never seen you with a cane before. Are you all right? No, no, I'm playing soldier. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I'll straighten the cap. The cane woke up one morning, had a little pimple on the, on the leg, you know? Yeah. Why am I on an angle and you're sitting so far? Well, here, I'll come around. <sighs> no, no, let's not get crazy. Tell me about it, Don. Little pimple. Little pimple. And all of a sudden, uh, my wife says, let the doctor come over. I want him to see. The and he came up at one, two, three. And Ann Peters, that's the doctor. And she said, uh, you're going to the hospital. I said, what? You know, turns out that I have what they call, I can't even pronounce it. He gives you a vocalitis. <laughs> can he say that? I can say whatever I want. This show isn't going to make it anyway. <laughs> it's doing better than I take it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I, uh, Craig, I really don't know the pronunciation. I always screw it up. No, it's anyway, it's a disease that, that eats up on the flesh. It really oh, does. Oh, no. No, I'm making it up. Oh, okay. 
And so it eats up on the flesh, and it, it could be very serious. And so I went to the hospital and had uh, uh, seven operations. Oh, and uh, look at their reaction. Good. <laughs> no, I don't think they're saying good. I think they're like, oh. Yeah. That's good. Jump in when you think it's something funny. All right. Hey, well, let, tell you, let me just move this handle for you here, all right? Okay. It's the very, very provocative place. <laughs> It's right there. You don't understand that, that God's spider. Oh. <laughs> and spider gets restless and comes out of the pajamas about four in the morning and goes... What kind of spider are we talking about? A brown recluse? Is that what we're talking about? The spider that makes the wife smile once in a while. <laughs> oh, she's a patient woman. She's a patient woman. Hey, when you're 88, you don't do too much of that. You just stand in the hall and say, we did it. Anyway, uh, no, I, I'm 88. How old are you now? 52. You look it. Thanks. I'll tell you this. No, wait, when you get to be 88, you'll be able to talk about it. No, but, no. Uh, no, this show I knew I was going to be on because I knew they have about four gurneys in the back waiting for me. So, no, anyway, so th th this disease eats the flesh, and thank God they caught it in time. And uh, I got a little bit of these operations, and, and now it works. It'll take a little while and with therapy. So you'll get everybody. back on your feet. Yeah, well, and uh, I, I must say that really the, the doctors were, were fantastic. They really were. They looked at and said, legs got to go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, they didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think what happened is that they all went, uh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I wouldn't worry if it did go because Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp promised me a part on a pirate movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hey, so folks, you... I tell you the truth, everything I say to you, I did up in my room tonight and I laughed my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell, you, I tell you what, though, does that mean you can get back on the road? Are you going to go back and do, oh, you're doing the live dates, you're doing the, I, I, the Orleans? I've and... done eight shows already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I take the cane and walk out and get around with it and, you know. Do you uh, walk around with the cane? You don't no, sit no, down? No, 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 they put skates on my ass. And I I, just... I'm just saying, like Bill Cosby now, Bill, when Bill does his act now, he sits down, he sits down and he does his show sitting down. Nothing wrong with that. No, hey, he's a black man, he got a president, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> no, Bill's a good friend of mine. You did a little take behind uh, my no, back. No, I just, I did a tiny little one. I you was just, a... I'm just trying to save my job. Uh, you did December. a little take behind my back. I'm just trying to save the job until Christmas, dog. That's then. all I'm doing. And then he became a Nazi. One minute he became a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi. We've been through this before. Okay. I just like doing a German accent and marching up and down. That doesn't make me a Nazi. Okay. <laughs> Anybody got a Valium? <laughs> well, all of them. I, the particularly that guy that's in Lesbian Row, right? <laughs> He's had a few. You were very good, sir. <laughs> Go to the dentist. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, your teeth are great. Your teeth are great. Broads aren't bad either. Uh, you know? Well, you know, that's... that's... I'm, a, I'm a married man. I, I'm married now. How, about, how long? You're married an hour. I was at the... uh, uh, Yeah, uh, an hour and a half. Uh, uh, short. I've been married uh, uh, in May. It'll be 50 years. Congratulations. That's it. That's fantastic. <laughs> you people have thought you haven't seen her. Come on now. Well, she'll know. laugh, because with the jewelry she's got, she's got to laugh. Well. She sits down in Malibu with a ring going, that's a ship. <laughs> now, she's, you know, Jewish people always go with the jewelry. But jewelry's going out of style now. Everything's, you know, fake make makeup. You're not a Jewish guy, are you? The guy with the glasses staring at me. <laughs> You're Irish. Oh, are you a mute? Can you not? Can, you're meant to talk to me. The whole idea of a talk show is you talk to me, Don. That's the thing. Now you, come, you don't done talk to the paid hobos that we grow off Hollywood Boulevard. You come and you talk to me. They, they got their candy. Why would I talk to you? You're going, oh, come on. You're, you're going off the air in about an hour. What? That's what I'm saying. I'm only here until Christmas. Come on. And you're bringing in one of your buddies from, from England. Well, well. I love those guys. Mommy, daddy's home. Anyway. Uh, why are they bringing in an English guy, honestly? You know, I, I, I think he's very, very good, actually. He's very good. Yeah. Very talented. Very talented man. <laughs> he is. He is. I've, I, you know, he's, uh, he's very good. He'll be fine. Big liar. <laughs> no, I'm sure the guy will be fine. I'll, I can rush over you, here. You can, come and, you can come and help him out. You'll be on, because you were on the early shows with me. You said to me, uh, you said, I'll come on your show once it's a hit. That's what you said to me. <laughs> did I say that? Yeah, you did. You, you see the bastard. response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, you, you were a hit. You had a nice run. Now you go back to what you usually do in Scotland, playing with your skirt. <laughs> That's 
not a job, though, playing with your skirt. I mean, it's fun and everything, but it's not a job. I'll, do, I'll move on. I'll do something else. I think I'm going to be a detective. <laughs> yeah, that's right. In a Jewish ghetto. <laughs> No, nah, you'll, you'll be all right. I know you're having a, you're having a game show. Yeah, I'm doing a game show. And yeah. then, and, oh, I don't want to miss that. <laughs> I got a little twitch. Yeah, yeah. What? You don't like game shows? Everybody loves game shows. Sure, you know, it's like uh, Fallon was a wonderful kid. He said, you want to be on the show? I said, I don't play ping pong. And so, uh, I don't play ping pong. Now, listen, that's funny. <laughs> Now you know what I felt like during the monologue. That's why we went, that's, we cut, that's why we cut straight to you. There was no point in doing it anymore with these people. Uh, these are nice people. Uh, I guess the bus hit the wall and they're all here. <laughs> I think, I think it's pretty hot outside and they were attracted by the air conditioning. That's what I think is really going on. No, you always get a nice audience, really. It's a, yeah. Not many, but a nice audience. <laughs> you know, I love over this section, Grandma Moses and a couple of other people. <laughs> Oh, and, uh, listen, we have, we have to take a break. We have to take a commercial You don't break. have to beg. Do it. All right, then. We'll be right back with Don Rickles, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Don Rickles, who's just giving me some career advice and helping me out and being supportive as you usually are. Yeah. <laughs> what, what a I tell night. you who this was is here. So exciting. I tell you who was here. Who it was your daughter Mindy? She came and did stand up. Oh, is that what she calls it? Oh. <laughs> no, she'll be offended by that. I love you, sweetheart. No, she's trying to be fun, and she has my delivery. She does. Yeah. I just hope you know. It was a lot of years. I told her it's a lot of years. I I worked in places where the boss sat with a bathrobe, and when, uh, while I was on, when. <laughs> I did that when Mindy was on. <laughs> no, she was good. Uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna cost you. No, oh, come on. <laughs> now she's a good kid. She's beautiful, and I wish her luck. She wants to be an actress, and she's talented. She, she might make it. Cause Daddy's getting tired of carrying her. <laughs> right, man. It's okay. She's got a wonderful fine. husband, Ed, and they, they do okay. Now what do we do? I was just going to, I was going to talk to you about this. Have you decorated this? Is this something? No, no. no. This, it comes like this with all the right. glitter. This Broadway. is like some kind of Vegas? It's Broadway. Thing? You don't know from that. You only know from uh, Scotland. Hey, 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 mommy, daddy, daddy, mommy. <laughs> mommy, daddy. You got the wrong place, man. Well, you come from Scotland, don't well, you? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Maybe, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your papers. Anyway, uh, he talks like he belongs here. One well, phone call, boom, it's over. No, no, I'm a, I'm a citizen now. I'm a citizen oh, now. Oh, you became a citizen? Oh, I became a citizen. Oh, yeah. that's neat. Yeah, yeah. It's a very, very difficult exam. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Hello, America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you like gum? Do you hate Al-Qaeda? Come on in. <laughs> Get the FBI on the phone. No, come on. <laughs> Get this guy a meal. You, you, what's anyway, wrong? You uh, hate the skeleton. Why do you hate the skeleton so much? I don't, don't say hate. I never use the word hate. Oh, oh really? I'm a young man that plays that part, and he's wonderful. Right. No, I just said when I was working with him the last time, I, I didn't know how to handle it because he was talking, and it annoyed me because how am I going to kill a guy like this? <laughs> you know, I had that flesh-eating disease once. <laughs> Just when I was being nice, you turned yeah. on me. Yeah, I know. That's what happened. Well, you always do that to me. What's, uh, well, what's that? You're playing the Orleans. I like the Orleans in Vegas. Oh, good. I'll tell them. Yeah. <laughs> no, Vegas is still Vegas. I mean, it changed from when how it used to go, but Vegas, there's something about it It's always exciting. It really is. Atlantic City is having a little trouble right now, but they'll come back pretty strong. But Atlantic City, but Vegas is having a little trouble. Is but it? I get a little, yeah. When I was single, it was no trouble at all. Uh, <laughs> A waitress went, is that the tip? Anyway, uh... Can you say that? He's not wrinkled. He can say that he's down well pleased. You gotta go. It's good to see you. Good to see you, and thank you for your time. I'm gonna go to a place now that's a hit. 
No, I wish you the best. I know you're going to leave the, in, in Christmas time next year. But uh, really, of all the jokes and kidding around, you're a real gentleman, and I wish you the very best. You and your wife, he has a lovely wife. She's and, very attractive, you, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll say it. Huh? She used to be a hooker in Jersey. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you went too far! <laughs> Thought Don Rickles would have gone too far. But seriously, from my heart, I, I wish you the very best. You're a charming gentleman and a nice man, and I wish you every every success. Good luck. I love you too, pal. Thanks a lot. Don Rickles, everyone.